crazy old dummy at all. Huh? Yo, yo. Rap gang lemon than a bitch. New niggas different now. Niggas acting like bitches now. Sucking dick for attention now. The OGs even acting fool. Fucking up their legacy. Thinking savage cause he did time. Nigga, you can die with your felonies. Say all my young niggas. Run it around. Going up, let her be. Selling dog food. Yeah, that pedigree. Get your religion. Get your pedigree. All the sweat back. You're so damn long. Like we man scared of me. Too close to that car. Ask. Fuck do you got better weed? What I'm from this. You dead in this world. And it's sad to say. I told my bitch to go here. I push. She got her mouth. Cause I'm a resume. I swear that man ain't gonna It's like any other neighborhood, man. Good days and bad days. Everybody trying to make it. Uh, everybody hustling. Everybody grinding. Um, shit, a lot of talent in Franklin. Okay. It's a okay. whole. It's a gang of talent in Franklin as far as music concerned. When people shit. first think of Franklin, right, they think of the country. So is it, is it country or is it city or is it is it um, woods? No, it's apartments. No, it's actually like houses. A little, it's actually like the city of Franklin. It's actually like a little. It's like like, like a little city. I was telling him earlier. It's like a little Suffolk almost, you know what I mean? Um, but like the East Washington Street kind of part. I know y'all get busy out there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah ain't it a peanut yeah. factory or something out there everybody yeah, it's work a, at? Yeah, it's a peanut factory down there. No That's close. No question, no question. some of the locals. I ain't know nothing about the peanut yeah, factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down there. Some Word. of the locals work at and shit, you know okay. what I'm saying? Um, no question. Some people been working there 30, 40 years, you know how oh, they get a pop at that peanut factory, you know what I'm saying? They make peanuts for the whole world over there. Word. Word. Oh, oh, man. You know what I'm yeah, man. Franklin definitely played a part, Franklin. you know what I'm saying, in VA. For sure. For sure. Because uh, of that, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Big, big, big matter right yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Peanuts, yeah, that, that's, that's heavy. And that's I know what, that's a lot of black people out Franklin, too. A lot of niggas, man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I know niggas get mad niggas. out there. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Definitely. So niggas putting out that anger and they and they rap music and all and everything niggas in the streets. And you know what I mean? It's a lot of talent out there, man. I grew up um, something in the water with cats that can with, with cats that can rap for real, for real. Like I ain't even the only one that's really like that. You know what I mean? Right, right. So it's so, a lot of cats out there that's that's nice, man. You so, know what I mean? So, um, at about 11 years old, man, I heard you was on a on track with, like, 25 people. No, nah, that was at, like, age, like, 15, 16. That was, like, 15, at 16. 16. That was, like, okay. at 16, because I was driving there. Yeah. Right, right, right. I started rapping 11, at 11, 11, 11. though. Okay, okay. I started rapping at 11. Okay, you started know rapping at 11. Hell, yeah. I had, um, I got an older brother. He, like, he five. 11, what's that? That's, like, middle school, right? Um, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, sixth yeah. grade. Yeah. That's sixth grade. grade. Yeah. That's sixth grade. Yeah. yeah, facts, facts, man. 
And um, shit, I got an older brother. He like four, five years older. And um, so he used to have like the Capone, Noriega, the Reunion, uh, Nas, I Am, oh, all the these, all these classic albums and <laughs> shit know, like that. We all, I mean, that's that's my era. I yeah, I know that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. like. I came up to them. That's hip hop. You yeah, know, facts, man, that's man. music. I, I call that rap music. Hip hop yeah, was before music. that. You know, that's that rap music. That's so now fact. it's now music is another music. Now I don't know the name of this new music, but it's still music. But yeah. it's still music. Nah, but you got some cats. Now what they call it? They call it. They call it, they they give it to you. I forgot the name. What they call it? You know what I'm saying? So all types of music out right now. But I'm yeah. talking about that rap. Music. That rap music. Yeah, yeah, you grew up in that nineties. Yeah, I grew up in that rap music, man. Like I said, Nas, I am was like one of the albums that is. That really kind of like inspired me when I when I really started to wanted to uh, zone in on the scale. What were some of the tracks, man? Because that's a that's shit. a crazy album. There's a lot of flavor. I got that you. Shit. I got you. Uh, uh, Ghetto Prisoners. Oh. Okay, you want that? You want that? Favor for a favor with Scarface. Okay, Whoa. you know something. Um, Nas, <laughs> Nas is like you gotta go with that one. <laughs> you um, go with the whole album. <laughs> um, you gotta go with Illmatic yeah. itself. <laughs> uh, he didn't say Illmatic. Yeah, he just um, he went on the, to classics. What's though. the other joint? Uh, I wet who you want wetted. You wet who yeah, I want yeah, wetted. Yeah. Any nit. Um, yeah, 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 it's the favor for a favor. But yeah, what's the baby. joint? Uh, money is my bitch. Um, is my bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. facts. Money, money, money. Uh, <laughs> And uh, join uh, Carolyn from Maryland. She oh, made yeah, no question, man. No <laughs> she question, made the whole man. album. Let's go. Shout out to Mike Nas, man. On Throwback yeah, Thursday. Yeah, Today's Thursday, right, man? Definitely yeah, y'all already, man. Nas definitely inspired, man. Man. Nas Nas definitely inspired man. a lot of cats, Facts, man. man. So that was one of my... My brother had a lot of albums, man, back then. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, what's, your, what's your brother name? What's his name? My brother named Raheem. Raheem. Go by Skeets. Shout out to Raheem, man. No, no, no. Skits. Skits. Skits, my cousin. That's my cousin. Shout out to Skits, too. Shout out to my cousin, Say, man. He on both of my albums. Oh, um, he actually like on um, both of my albums and a couple of my mixtapes. Oh, so 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 y'all working all in the fam. We got brother yeah, working, facts, cuz man. working. You know facts, what I'm saying? Man. Everybody do their part. Is so let, let's talk about your first level. song, man. After after you know what I'm saying, Nas and them inspired you, and you and you had that first. It was somebody in your hood, right? Um, yeah, it's a legend, man. I forget this guy. Dez Dilla guy. Yeah, shout man. out to Dez Dilla guy. Shout out Dez already. Dez Dilla guy. Um. He was one of my brother friends, you know what I mean? Um, he is one of my brother homeboys to this day. And uh, shit, my brother had bounced, went to the Navy. And uh, so I just kept hanging around the guys I was seeing him with every day, you know what I mean? Okay. But what, he, was the, what was the cats doing? Rapping. I mean, rapping and okay, rapping. Okay, rapping. Okay. They was doing their thing, but every, rapping is what we talking about, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, all so, right. I mean, not just trying to pose now, but yeah, I mean, yeah, facts. some people's going to work every day, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, some people work every day, because this is right. Franklin we talking right, about, fact, you know yeah. what I mean? Right, facts, yeah. A lot of hard-working people in Franklin, music. man, for real. Yeah, yeah. Working hard out there. Yeah. Yeah, and um, so shit, he kind of took me under his wing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would, I would like, get out of school, and I would go there, write rap sometimes and shit. Then when I got like 16, I knew I was driving. Um... Should I go around his crib one day and they doing the 50 cent um, money, money cake. He doing like a remix with the entire neighborhood on that. Damn. Damn. <laughs> if you in a rap group, if you had four people, all four of y'all was on that motherfucker. Wow, like, right. I, mean, it ended I up remember being, them days. Yeah, it ended up being If like, you do a track, everybody getting on the track. Facts, yo. Right. I don't care how long it is. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Quite long. Um, he... Man, he told me from day one, and I remember him telling me when I was like 14, he was like, look, man, you got what it takes. You know what I mean? Like, you keeping up with us, we writing, you know. Already. And uh, we, we older. You get your battery in your back. Right. Bro. You know what I mean? No question. And shit, um. And you went. Yeah, he put me on that Money Money Cake joint. I think I had like eight bars only. And he, after that joint was over. Cause there was so many people on the track. Some people had 16s, like the, like the head honchos. It was between 25 and 30 people, man. God, did you think he was going to make the cut? I, yeah, because I don't think it was like a cut. Okay, I yeah. think it was Everybody something he was, was doing. doing right, right. Yeah, yeah, I think it was something he was doing to bring so you put it, you put cats it together. Yeah, okay, yeah. You know okay. what I mean? So I don't think it was like a cut, like uh, I don't like that verse. Yeah, I think it was yeah. more like, yo, the neighborhood, we're going to come together on this joint. Everybody show love. Yeah, all that talking, all that typing, you like merch song. So they all that talking. Yeah, so. Um, Sorry about that. No, you all that's good, all bro. Good. That's all good. So, yeah, man, like I was saying, so that's pretty much what happened, man. And um, he kind of took me under his wing. See how um, he brought everybody together. You know, right, see, right. You've seen that. You know right, yeah, I mean? yeah. A couple more tracks that came out after that. Like you, um, 
Yeah, yeah, I had a couple more tracks. We was going to a studio. It was a studio downtown Franklin. Okay. This dude, um, this older uh, black dude had had a studio. You remember so, the name of the studio? I don't, but I remember the name of the dude. Okay. His name was Roland. Okay, Roland. And um, <laughs> he had a studio. It was really for gospel music, but the young, I mean, it's Franklin, so we don't got too many options. So he would let us come in there and record and shit. Shout out my guy, Roland. I mean, yeah, he opened the doors up. Hell no, hell no. You had to pay, guys. Oh. I'm just saying. He still like, opened the doors up. Yeah, he still opened the doors up. Yeah, respect, you know I mean? respect. Yeah, yeah. But no you definitely question. had to pay, though. It won't like no free. No, ain't nothing free. I mean. Ain't nothing free, though. Like you said, yeah, ain't nothing free. But um, you definitely had to go in there, drop a little bread and um, shit, man. And people started recording there. But I was still young. You know, I'm in high school. I got a whip. I had a hard ass Honda and shit. Like you know, back in my day, everybody was trying to get like the Fast and the Furious Honda uh -huh. when you were in high school and shit. So, so I had to jump with the Daytons on. Man, I had the jump. I had the black. I had the uh, 18s on the. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on the uh, <laughs> uh, black rims. The black rims with the chrome lip. No question. With okay. the uh, with the twelves in the back, man. With the Euro lights and all that shit, man. It was clean. Tip, yeah, clean, man. Already. High school was real fun, but. Um, you was doing it in high school then, you know what I mean? Yeah, it sounded like you was ahead of your time, you know yeah, what I'm saying? That, 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 that's, that's good, man. I'm taking somewhere else on it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, some people ain't fortunate yeah, to go to school driving in high school, facts, you know man, what I'm facts, saying? Bro. So, I used to come, I used to purposely wait. I, a lot of people like would leave out of high school. Yeah. And um, uh, cause I used to always hate riding the bus, bro. I used to hate that shit. I never like riding the bus a day in my life. Loud you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes I would just like miss the bus. So, on so you was picking early, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't never wrong. I'm like, man, I can't, I can't. I'm accustomed to a certain way of living. That man, ain't man. I can't ride the bus, man. Hey, look, though, no I'm question. Keep it real with y'all, though. I went to I went to high school, and I didn't go. To, I lived in the city of Franklin, but I didn't go to high school in the city of Franklin. I went to Southampton. So my mom, it was a better school system. So my okay. mom used my grandmother address. I yeah, you know how that go. She she see what's going on ahead of so time. So that I could go to Southampton. But it was a bus until I started whipping. I would have to walk to uh, South and Hall Street. How many miles was this? No, this was like a mile. A, not not even a mile. Probably like okay three blocks. You know what I mean? Uh, from um from home to Hall Street with Miss Ford. I don't know where she at to this day, but uh, I hope she's doing all right. Miss Ford, if you lived in Franklin and Miss Ford knew your kinfolk and all that shit like that, and she knew the situation, she let you hop on the bus. So we would be on the bus in the morning time while she starting that motherfucker. I mean, she parking her car, and we were outside the bus where she Child parked her bus. Ford. You know what I'm saying? We waiting to go to school and shit for her and uh, for to get there so she can drive us or whatnot. And so what we'll do, we'll hop on the bus, and then she'll hit her real route. For the, for the kids where she's supposed to be hitting. Oh, that's dope. And we all get to school at the same at the same time. You that's feel love, okay, right? Okay. And so, um, yeah, I went to a, I, I didn't go to the school that I was supposed to go to, but um, which was a great thing because I ended up getting a pretty good uh, education. Education and being able to go to uh, college and shit. Not to skip past high school. I know we're talking about high school, but no, man, no problem college, with it. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah facts, facts, man. Yeah, oh, um, man. how was college, man? Because for real, for real, it sounds like your mama got that many. I mean, you're not, not, you know what I mean? You got to always shout right. out to mom dukes. Right. Yeah, you yes. know what I mean? She, yes. she facts, paved man. the way, you know what facts, I'm saying? Man, she see something yeah. that she tried to skip some steps yeah, so, facts, for you man. to avoid, you know what I'm saying? When so I was in high she school, did a good job with that shit, facts, you know what man. I mean? Oh, man. Listen, Listen, for real, man. God damn it. If, if your peoples ain't putting you in position, at least got them to give you a spring to take off. You know facts. what I'm saying? Shit ain't going to be man. official. So, shouts out to the mamas out there taking care of their business through the struggle and everything. Facts, you know man. what I'm saying? I, um, yeah, right. my, I salute my, that. Um, my uh, old man was actually locked up. You know what I'm saying? Already. See, so, so, she put in that work and got them and played mom man yeah, pops. Yeah, facts. You know and I, I got into some trouble in high school and shit, too. I got into a fight, which I regret to this day, man, because I fuck with the dudes um, at this point. Um, and it was just your average fight. Yeah. But in our school, though, if a, if if bodily harm is caused, it's an automatic charge. And he just so happened to chip his tooth. I don't even think I punched. I don't even they think I hit him. Murder charge. Man, they, 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 <laughs> I had to go to um, man, shit, I uh, had to go to um, alternative school. For alternative this school, joint. yeah, man. bro. They had me. Fucking, they said that you was a goddamn man. Juvenile man. Listen, <laughs> man, hey, listen, man. I'm gonna tell y'all. Hey, yo, you remember the days back in the days? You remember this era, bro? It's crazy, man. They used to try to tell us, my nigga. 
Yo, you ain't gonna make it past 18 or 21. Yeah, facts. No, Yo, I that's crazy. They used that, to tell us that, that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back in school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They used to try to advise us so when a lot they of us did. They did, you used to say you would be locked up, though. Yeah, like, all you used to be dead in jail, yeah, past yeah. all that. A lot of us made it yeah. past that, a lot of us didn't, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to everybody who made it past, you know what I mean? What, facts, what college facts. did you end up going to? I ended up going to Virginia State, man. Well, I ain't end up going. That's why I wanted to go. I, okay, I you went to Virginia I State? To go. Yeah, man. For real, for real, What's man. What's your major? Uh, healthcare admin. Okay, so, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Taking care of... Uh, and I got my paperwork, too. I finished in four oh, years. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. You, know I mean? you got that under the door. Give it a round of applause. Yeah, thanks. Black man with the college. You got his I motherfucking paperwork. That, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. Got it. I got it. It's, uh, it's at home on mental uh, um, by my TV and shit. But, Loud yeah. Facts. I definitely got my shit. Um... But not to skip over that, man, college, the experience was crazy, yo. I can imagine. I was going home telling niggas, like, listen, man, please enroll so y'all can come fuck, so y'all can be up here with me. Right, right. He said, fuck, yo, listen. Did you say come fuck? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Fuck, be rich. Hey, man, listen, bro. I'm yo, telling you. So you was a young it. single man going to college with no kids. Man. My brother was oh, college. man, you turned out. I ain't never go to college. But it sounds like you partied and stayed focused, though. <laughs> oh, you know yeah, what no, I'm no, no. You partied and took care of business. I stayed you focused, bro. I'm going to Let me, I'm, I'm gonna put y'all on some game, though. The, the, the kids that's looking at this or might see this that want to go to college, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, And fresh out of high school, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, The ones that's going, looking forward to it. So, you know, it's called a yard. When you're just chilling out on the yard and shit, mm -hmm. you on the campus. So, um, it was like my third week of college, my freshman year. Right, right. Now, so, the first week of college, freshmen are there by themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it's only freshmen, so it's called freshman week. Okay. okay. So, we mingling, getting to know everybody, this and that, this and that. And, um, so, shit, the second week. Everybody at school, upperclassmen, everybody. You yeah, know what I mean? Totally different in that first week. <laughs> but I, I got accustomed to hanging on the yard. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm on the yard one night. This is like the third week of college and shit. I'm on the yard. I'm like, damn, ain't nobody out this motherfucker. This shit dry. <laughs> no now I had I had an assignment that was due the next day, but I was procrastinating. So I'm I'm on the yard. I'm like, man, let me go. He's like, I'm on the yard. Yeah, look, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get popping now. Hey, look, I'm on the yard. I'm like, man, let me go ahead and um. This the college yard, y'all. Yeah, it's the college yard, <laughs> y'all. Yeah. Right, 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 the college yard, man. No question. And, um, so I'm on, I'm, I'm on the yard, and I go back to my dorm. I'm like, man, I might well go and get my book bag and, and head to the library, get this fucking shit out of the way, come on back to the dorm, you know what I mean? When I walked through the library door, my nigga, that shit was like a fucking club. <laughs> Lit. <laughs> Nothing but bad bitches. <laughs> like, yo, listen. And I figured it out right then at an early age. I'm like, okay. I mean, like at an early age in college, that okay, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. Okay. Right? You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right. So boom, I learned that lesson right there. So let me be on my shit. So like in the in the in the girls and whoever you trying to impress, which it should be the girls if you 18 <laughs> and you young like I was, right? Yeah. Um, they respect shit like that. They see you in the library. They see yeah. you studying. They okay. know you're not just no dumb nigga. You right, know, right. they like, like that like, shit. Yeah, bitches don't like. Yeah, bitches like smart niggas. Right. Yeah, right. right. y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? And that's just a fact, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. They don't like dealing with ignorant niggas. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? A lot of times, girls deal with ignorant niggas because yeah. they happen to be I'm in, smart, but I'm in, in, in an environment <laughs> where right. ignorant niggas at. That's all. No that's question. all you got to select from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, so like when you around other dudes, that's Intelligent, yeah. You ain't. Smart it's like a you ain't, trying to be intelligent, right? It's like yeah, a yeah, it's yeah. like an ocean just full of you know. You gotta step your Fish game trying, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta I'll step your know. game up. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's how college was for me, man. I had a good time in college, man. I was um, I was uh, yeah, how I had old a good was time you when you, you went? Seventeen. Uh, I was eighteen. Eighteen. I turned eighteen a month before I went to college. I you left, were still doing the music at the time. Yeah, I was still doing the music. And a matter of fact, when How I got to college, how much music did you have went, done when you went to college? Probably about nine songs. Okay. okay. Just like freestyle songs. At this time, you know it's a hobby, right? But you're still taking care of your business. But right. You're not even tuned in. You like I can do that. You know right. what I'm saying? And I had a crazy notebook, though. Yeah. But I only had nine songs because the studio wasn't always accessible if you ain't had to go out. Yeah, right, right. Uh, so, so you was writing everything. You I was keeping writing. Track. So my, probably about two months in the school, once again, everybody chilling on the yard. Um, I went to college with my high school homie. 
we was roommates together. We was like, yo, we're going to go do this on together, man. Okay. Roommates, all that shit together. So we on the yard. My homeboy, he's standing over there. I heard niggas rapping, but I ain't really paying no attention. Right, right. Winning the so cipher. my homeboy walked over to me like, yo, niggas rapping over there. So he went to high school with me, so he know I rap. Yeah. Right. So he like, yo, niggas rapping over there, man. Then you would, these niggas is trash. <laughs> so I'm like, he like, yo, come on, come on, come on. Yo, when I walk up to the cipher, it's me, my nigga, like three other rappers and like 10 niggas standing around these rappers that's actually tuned in to what the fuck going on. Right. Listen, <laughs> I let dude finish. I'm like, yo, let me hop in. It's like, all right, let me see what you got. Start rapping. The, I rap for like five minutes, bro. When I look up, five like, minutes straight. It's like a hundred. When I look up, bro, because you know how niggas be rapping with their head down, especially like when you in a cipher. Yeah. Bro, when I look up, it's like a hundred and fifty people standing around me. A crowd. And cause like while I'm rapping, I hear like the oohs and ahs is getting louder and louder and louder and louder. I'm like, damn, somebody like this shit or is it getting thick? Yeah. So when I look up, bro, I look around, bro, it's like 150. I see my nigga, I see the niggas that's rapping, and I just can't this see. This shit shocked you. It shocked me. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that's like, one of, that's like one of the key no moments question. when I was like, oh, wait a minute. I do got it. Yeah. My, my old head, that when he was telling me when I was five years ago, when I was Yeah, 50, you recognize that. He he peeped it then, you know what I'm saying? So, and sometimes you need that anytime as an artist. To be on the spot like that. That's why it's good to perform. Right. And that was a performance right there. That was one of the per first performances you that, did in your life. That, and you ain't even know it. You facts. know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I can control yeah. the crowd. Yeah. And I ain't yeah. even goddamn. Man, my homeboy got footage of me rapping in the dorm, yo. And he will not give it to me. You know why this nigga said he will not give it to hostage. me? He said, yo, because you about to blow, nigga, and you're going to blow any day, and I'm going to hold this shit, and when you blow, I'm going to have this shit, and we're going to release this like shit that. to the world. And I, I, can't like even, I can't even be mad at that, because like he mean like, well, you know what I'm saying? Exclusive. He got exclusive shit. I got my college shit on, Virginia State and everything, and I'm actually standing in his room. Bussing for like five minutes, just you rapping. Bring him the loud facts, you you gotta bring him. And, and you know what? My homeboy name is AB. It's AB. ambitious. Shout out AB, man. We it's need AB. that footage. Yeah, AB. It's ambitious. Stop AB. holding that footage. We need to see that. It's ambitious. Loud facts. It's, it's <laughs> ambitious. AB on Instagram, and the reason why I'm shouting him out so much is because he's actually a personal trainer. What? So if you ever in Houston, Texas, or Austin, okay. Texas, the Texas area, ambitious AB personal trainer, and if you're not in Texas. He actually does mobile training via web webcam. So it's all you need is a webcam if you're really serious about getting fit. And my nigga got you. Or my home, my Shots out homie him, boy, got you. Excuse me, I don't want to plug his business and call him a nigga. But it's all good. It's yeah, all he good. got you. So definitely hit him. While up. in college, though, okay, you say you did four years there, right? Four years, bro. Okay, four years. Hit it out. When did you get deep with the music in, in college? Did you have a show in college? I mean, because that sounded like it was a momentum point, you know yeah, what I'm saying? When you yeah. took over the crowd like that. Yeah. So at that point, you know what I'm saying? I can imagine in school, you know what I'm saying? Facts. You're so, popular if you're a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Was you a rapper at that point? I was a rapper at that point. I was a rapper at that point. Was a rapper. <laughs> no yeah, I was a rapper at that point. But at that point, you didn't have no project out. Right? But at that point, I didn't have no project out. <laughs> but you yeah, knew you was a rapper. But though. I knew I was a rapper. I knew I had it. You know what I'm saying? I knew I had it because you got to understand, bro, I went to Virginia State. It's filled with D.C. and New York niggas. These was New York niggas in the cypher. Oh, yeah. These niggas don't even think. They think we dumb as a motherfucker. They don't even think we can rap like that. That's how New York niggas' attitude used to be at school. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, they like, man, these... They come on, let me see what you got. You know what I mean? And you know how the New York dudes, they aggress, they rapping. So when I start busting, I'm, I'm the same as them. My mama, she from New York. No question. You know what I'm saying? So, and I just told y'all I grew up to that non shit and shit like that. So it was already in me. And so oh, yeah, when I, already. You know what I mean? So it just, it just went from there, man. So so you just giving the energy back out to the world, man, as you Facts. did, man. You know what I'm saying? Facts, we appreciate man. you coming through here tonight, man. No and doubt, man. Let the people know, man. Loud Facts TV, man. Loud Facts TV. Tune in with A. Wood. You Tune know what I'm saying, saying, baby? And um, he definitely about his business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, when I went to school, when I went to college, I want to say this, too, to the young brothers out there that might be in the street or something like that. Man, a lot of people be out there in the street. Young boys that's in high school and shit like that. But man, if that shit go to college, if they go to college, they would never want to come back home, bro. When I got to college, I seen, I mean this, I seen so many beautiful women. My professors was cool. I went to a black school. Right. So the professor like your grandma damn near. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I remember yeah, times CA. I was fucked up in school, bro. So you I ain't had black love. Bro, I, I remember times I was love. fucked up in you school, know what I'm saying? Bro. That's a different so type of love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a different <laughs> type of love, yeah. I remember times I was fucked up in school, bro. I ain't had no lunch swipes. 
cafeteria lady, she look at you like 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 you her nephew or something. Man, you ain't got no swipes. Well, go on, get in there and get some food. Don't you know what I mean? Like, it. and that's the thing about going to an HBCU. I actually said that because I feel like we need to start supporting our HBCUs more, but make sure more of the young cats that's out here in these in the cities find out about them, man. A lot of these cats think they can't go to school. They mom on drugs and shit like that. Nigga, that's the reason why you can go. That's the reason why to go. Yeah, your mom on welfare or something, yo, they about to throw you that financial aid money. Free. Right, right. For free, damn near, your mom no, on welfare. Thanks. But they don't tell Somebody niggas take that. Advantage of. Somebody Somebody telling take advantage people, of. We just, yeah. gotta, we just gotta keep telling people and pushing it in yeah, their head. Facts, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely appreciate you, goddamn it, for letting people know, man. That shit is yeah. free. They take advantage of it, you know what I'm take saying? Take advantage of Even it. Even if you go to school for, uh, they got engineering at school. Did you ever yeah. transfer for any music? Did you ever do any music classes while no. you doing that? Mm -mm. Well, you only got a whole lot of music classes, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. he already knew he had the music shit, yeah. so he's in there learning something totally different. And, okay, um, yeah. And yeah, he took flight right at the college, like right at the college. Yeah. Where you end up at? So after college, I ended up in Pittsburgh. It's cold out there, eh? Take yeah, flight man. here in Pittsburgh now. <laughs> it's cold yeah, out man. there. Brand new life out there. Not to the skip, I'm going to come back to the beginning. But speaking of cold, since you brought it up, when I was in Pittsburgh, bro, I woke up one morning, it was negative 31 outside. Oh, I caught my first flu in Pittsburgh. <laughs> this, this, um, 2018, this last, um, 2019. I would not came I outside. Gonna, I would have went straight to the airport. Out there. Oh, yeah? Man, I got sick as a monkey. Yeah, I'm going to the airport. I'm going to the airport. I used to wake up some mornings, bro, because no, I um, when I was in Pittsburgh for the first couple of years, I ain't have a whip. But it's it's not looked at like you know how down here if you don't got no whip, if you want to bust, it's like looked down upon. Oh but yeah, yo, yeah, when I'm you up top, anything. yeah, when yeah. you up top, bro, you yeah, be bro, fucking millionaires on the subway yeah. going to work. You know what I'm saying? Niggas with million dollars and shit, you don't even know he the CEO of a company. It's a little yeah, different. Walking, city. Yeah, walking cool up. Facts, here. it is, bro. Walking, walking down is, here, you broke. You a broke nigga. You broke if you walk You a broke here. clown. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Out there, yeah. you walk. You a walking millionaire. You know yeah, what I'm that's saying? A fact, they, that's man. the two. That's two different things. I mean, ain't nothing but. But people need to stop being so embarrassed about walking around, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If you need to walk there, walk there. You know what I'm saying? Walk Somebody there. might pick you up on the way, but walk, walk fast. take care of your <laughs> take care of your business, man. Walk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I used yeah. to walk. You know what I'm saying? Till I caught the whip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. So my brother, going back to the beginning of Pittsburgh, um, my brother Verizon um, was was relocating some people to Pittsburgh to start out in Pittsburgh. So my brother, um, he took the he took one of the offers they had. Wow! Wow! So, uh, wow. Um, man, for real, man, I kind of always like not follow my brother. Okay. But he's always been in the league. Does that make right. sense? Like, I mean, that's big bro. Like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, he was yeah, my brother the same way. Yeah, yeah, bro, so, so, you know what I'm saying? So, man, you looking up to him anyway. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's... listen, bro. I'm going to tell you even better than that. So, he hit my phone. I was still in Virginia. He hit my phone. He like, look, man. Um, You know, if you want to go to Pittsburgh, man, um, and come up there and apply for some jobs and see what you can get you fresh out of college, get you an offer. You know what I mean? You can even start applying down there. You know what I mean? He was like, shit, you do that, then all you got to do is come up here. I was like, shit, man, my, my my funds low right now. I'm fresh out of college and shit like that. Okay. Party and this and that. Uh, paying rent. You know, when you when you become an upper class. I mean, you, you got a situation because yeah, your funds ain't right. Yeah, right, right. You know, right, right. You, know, you, know you in college is an upper class. Which everybody run into. I mean, Facts. not everybody, but Facts. a lot of people run into. Yeah, so like, when as an upper classman, you want your own apartment and shit like that. So I really could have stayed in the dorm and been stacking bread. For real, right, for real. Right, but right. you know how niggas live outside. You know how niggas live outside. Yeah, they we be. ballin'. We, we ballin', ballin', baby. Yeah. <laughs> <Cook rich. laughs> especially one time, baby. Especially yeah. at 20, you like, oh, man, man, hold on. I need my own spot when no these money. girls come through. I'm tired of trying to Every dump. Every day Friday. Yeah, you, 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 <laughs> can't, <laughs> you can't smoke in the dorm and shit. You know, I'm like, yeah. man, I got to get my own spot. But um, So my brother hit me and was like, uh, yeah. So I started applying for jobs. Um, and I got a fucking job, bro, at University of Pitt, nigga. Okay. Word. So, um. <laughs> oh, shit. University of Pitt, so, first time out of college. Facts. Facts. Um, facts. You know what I'm saying? So, I called my brother. I'm like, yeah, I got the job. I got the interview, but, uh, I ain't got no, I ain't got no, I ain't got no bankroll. Okay. He bought me round trip ticket. All I mean, all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, then, um, uh, oh, let me, let me, before I skip, uh, to Pittsburgh. Now, 
my when we was in college, my brother was living here in Hampton. Okay. So uh he I tell him that shit taking off for me. I'm like, man, I'm catching a little buzz, this and that. This is like my junior year, you know what I mean? And um doing little shows out in Richmond at the uh venues and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And um he like, uh man, you, you you for real about this man? Like is you are you really serious about this shit, man? Cause you know what I mean? I can't be wasting my time, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> so I'm like, man, yeah, man, bro. I'm like, yo, I got, yeah, I got. You trying to confess, big hey, brother? Bro, you yo, got it. I'm like, man, I got balls, man. So he's like, all right. It. My brother, the type, he ain't gonna say shit. So he, um, he like, all right. So you know what I mean? We end up talking some more about other like shit, probably some family shit. Then he hung the phone up. So the, you know, like I said, he going to, I think he going to Pittsburgh or something like that at the time, or about to go. So he hit me. I think he said some weird shit, like he needed some help real quick or something like that. <laughs> now, I mean, now, I'm in Petersburg, and you like you need some help real quick in Hampton. <laughs> that shit like two hours away. Yeah. So I'm thinking like, all right, word. But anyway, that's my brother. So I hop on my blush. whip, hop on my whip, <laughs> drive two hours. Bro, when I get to my brother crib, we go in the guitar, guitar center. We drive to Virginia Beach because there's only one in the 75. Right, right. Virginia Beach. Yeah, yeah. We drive to Virginia Beach. My, I watch my brother spend ten fucking thousand dollars, bro. On number straight studio equipment. Damn. Damn. Ten bands. It might have came like 9,700. That's, That's 10 yeah. bands, nigga, yeah. where we from. That's yeah. 10 bands, you know what I'm saying? But um, my brother bought the microphone. He ain't buy no cheap Walls shit. and everything. Man, microphone, padding, com big ass computer table where you got the, where you can put like the compressor and shit inside of the Mike. desk. Mics, headphones, um, mic Fingers, stands, bro. everything, every fucking thing, man. Every, new computer, nigga. Up every that shit, everything, you know, man. My, my beat machine that I got to this day, my brother bought that shit for me. Are you still rocking with that joint? Same shit. Now I didn't got the best beats you got too, man. Man, I, I, I didn't got new okay, um, okay, yeah, speakers man. and shit, monitors and shit. But, that's yeah. that's that's a good topic. You you brought up the beat machine that you got because we ain't even got it in that yet. You know Facts. what I'm saying? When did you start making beats? I started making beats, man, when I was probably about fifteen. Okay, okay, yeah. But now so, this time now you got your own beat yeah. machine. I'm gonna tell y'all some crazy shit uh -huh. that I ain't never really told nobody. Um, the exclusive crazy loud. Shit. <laughs> when I first got into making beats, my mama ain't had internet at the crib. Okay. So I would go into Walmart and I would take, you remember the little voice recorder? No, no, the AOL free internet disc for seven days. Yes. I take, like, they used to have them in the car in front of Walmart. I still got my AOL.com email. I take, <laughs> I take the free seven day AOL Trail. disc yeah. to, get in, to get the internet. Mm -hmm. And then I downloaded um, Fruit Loops. Foodie Loops <laughs> or Kazaa. Right, right, right. And that was like the first time I saw I making beats and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, that I was, was like 15. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, I was like 15, bro. So, Same yeah, man. Shit was lit. Right Let me hear some of your music right quick. Let's like, do it. Just, okay, man. Miss, miss Cole Cole already, right right here, Let man. the Let's people know, man, how to um, catch up with you on Instagram, man. Right? You know what I mean? Let's do it, man. What's your Instagram? AU underscore wood. AU underscore underscore wood. My bad. My Instagram, AU underscore underscore wood. Tune in. And you need to go grab that uh fresh fresh merch we got. Educated Misfit dot store. That's E D U K A T E D M I S F I T. Educated Misfit dot store. I G. Go, go get fight. fresh, man. Go, go get, get fresh, fresh, man. Tune in, man. We about to get them. He brought in some new work, so we about to check this out, man. Turn your phones Yo. up, man. Listen to this work, man. Shit official. Uh, uh, Shit. Yeah. 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 Feels so good. So good. Ride with me. Ride with me. Look. Look. Uh. Deep in my thoughts, looking at rappers like actors. Mama was right. Maybe I should have went for that masters. Took a couple classes, figured I school niggas. Move quicker. In Virginia, that's never a new trigger. I'm too slicker. Lube in your girl's swimming pool. Tightest crew. And mine to buy by hidden rules. Remember middle school? The cool niggas fell off. Niggas they call clowns then. Living well off. This payback. Boy, I knew you bitch niggas from way back. Back when it was Air Force Ones with the wave cap. Now I'm in Givenchy. That ain't even how you say that. Mama hate I spent that much on shoes. Mama, I paid that. Bought them for the slaves that some folks barefoot. That's my excuse, necklace for nooses. Truth is, I ain't used to 
shit, this how you made me. How can you blame me, Miss Cookies, baby? Uh. City, um, in this U.S. Steel building, in the U.S. Yeah. Steel building, okay. Yeah. And, and, and um, so this this is a college, right? Nah, this is work. I mean, yeah, yeah. What he's saying is that, oh, like, oh, the what, building, yeah, 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 you looking at some major shit. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this he ain't, this he ain't made, no HU. He, he meets you know some, he some major people, too. This you know, is listen, a, I worked in the city, <clears throat> and I worked on the 42nd fucking floor, and it was glass. This around all types of people. <clears throat> and it was glass. Right, right, oh, yeah. Right. No, no, no. First of all, it was like a, a bunch of white people. Exactly. Right. That's how you want to do it. No, no, no. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, though. We're going to let y'all yeah, know. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, it is what it is. No it man. is what it is. We need to work out but a you, way this, to put this, ourselves this in the positions where we get to be. You learned to adjust a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure because... Going to a predominantly black college, then going to this white college. I know you had to switch up your. Well, I mean, I, I, mean, won't, go you? To, I won't go to school at the college. I, oh, okay. I, I was just. It wasn't even really like the school part of the college. It was like the health part. And he working. Okay, yeah, I'm working. working. Yeah, I'm working, yeah, I'm working okay. out there. Okay. So like, yeah, side career. It shit. won't even really like you know what I mean. It won't even really like um the uh you had to obey for real. For right, real. fact. Right. So you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, so it was yeah. more. It was more. Some, it was more some shit like that where. But then I got there, so I was working in this one department when I first got there, right? So I was in this one department for like a year, year and a half. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm still living with my brother. The studio equipment is there. I'm fibbling with it here and there, you know what I'm saying? In the crib. Here and there, in, in the, the crib. crib. Going, in the hard. crib. going hard. Going writing, hard. Writing crazy. Right? I was writing crazy at this point. And um, so I transferred to another department. And my supervisor, like this young, white, hippie boy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, right. my supervisor seemed pretty cool. You know what I mean? He used to, um, one day he was like, yo, 
let's go um go check out um let's go get some lunch together and shit, man. I was like, all right, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So when he walked out the door, he pulled his phone out. His name Travis Radica. He pulled his phone out. Bro, he started playing Wu Tang while we walking. Cause we walking through the city. This downtown fucking Pittsburgh. <laughs> no so we going to get lunch and shit. And this your supervisor? Yeah, so I'm like, what the, what the fuck? He told that. <laughs> and he, I was like, bro, you fuck with hip hop like that? He was like, bro, I'm a music manager. Outside, nah, facts. He's like shot, outside shot, of work. I'm a, he's like outside of work. I'm a music manager. This way, this way. Really I'm like, yo. Down. I'm like, okay. who you? I'm like, yo, who you manage? He like 54th Regiment. Now, I didn't even know he managed music at the time, but I knew who they were just by living there for like a year and a half. Okay, let the people know who 54 Management is. Uh, 54 Regiment is Regiment, a yeah, group bad, out of bad. Pittsburgh that showed me a lot of love. They gave me my first show um, on a car in Pittsburgh. 54 um, Regiment. They gave me my first session, which I'm going to tap into in a minute. When I was out there in Pittsburgh, they gave me my first session. Um, and um, I heard of them before. Yeah, 54 Regiment. And one of the boys, one of the dudes... From 54, uh, Johnny Mace, white boy, cool ass white boy. He rapped too, and he actually taking off right now. I'm talking about like 60,000 followers on uh, Instagram and shit like that. And so he really taking off right now. So, but um, so I'm like, yo, you fuck with you, you a music manager? I'm like, bro, I got, I got this shit you need, nigga. Like you don't even understand. So like, he like, you can rap. So we going down the um, we going down the uh, alley to a taco spot. Word. So he like, I tell you what, man. He like, um, let me hear something. <laughs> uh -oh. By the time I finished, bro, he was like, yo, you work here? <laughs> he was like, yo, you work here? He was like, yo, you... He was like, shit, man, damn. <laughs> he was like, yo, I tell you what. We going to the studio on Saturday. And we going to see what's up. Damn. Come to the studio. I hop in the studio. Uh, Ghetto Chris is out of 54th Regiment, and he's on my open letter to Jay Z album. Ghetto Chris? My, my mixtape, Ghetto, Ghetto Chris. Chris. Oh, no, Ghetto Chris from Pittsburgh. Oh, it's another Ghetto Chris. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, yeah, another, yeah, it's yeah. another one yeah, that I met okay. in Pittsburgh. Shout out, Ghetto, yeah. Ghetto Chris. Yeah, shout, shout out, out to Ghetto, Ghetto Chris. Yeah, yeah. Shout, shout out to Chris. 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 I fuck with uh, Ghetto Chris um, from uh, Smithfield. Smithfield yeah, and Franklin. It's like a it's like an A City movement. Right, right. It's both Smithfield and Franklin. And um everybody make good music. Shit. Um like I said, cats in my neighborhood, they make dope ass music. Um shit, one of the cats I grew up with, Kurt Cocaine, uh, I, I I love his music. He like one I, I never even told him this. This just me just talking, but um, you, you worked with anybody? Um you got any collabs for anybody from over there? From back at the crib? Franklin. Oh yeah, yeah. Tell, tell us about Kurt, what you was Oh saying? yeah, oh he's he's nice, man. He's like a uh he got that locks feel. He got that okay. he he cut from the club too. Um and we actually played football together and shit. He went to Southampton. Okay. And so we used to be on the uh activity bus and shit, rapping, busting raps and shit, back right. and forth and shit like that. So he always been like somebody I really fuck with like that. And somebody that like, you know, you know how when people drop music, um, it's like you got to go here. Like I might I might see something in the neighborhood and, from the neighborhood and I'm going to go eventually support it. But I might take about 10, 15 minutes. You know what I mean? And not even on some disrespect shit, uh -huh. but just on some, I'm going to get to it in a second. Right, right. But right, he, that's how everybody is. That's right. That's right. Like, that's but, like, but, yeah, but, yeah, that's right. Like, right. You did me. Right. Oh, right. Oh, hey, look. Okay. Yeah. You got to give but, me like two months. But some people, <laughs> but, but, but some people uh -huh. from my neighborhood, when they make music mm -hmm. and I get the notification that it dropped on SoundCloud or whatever it may be, some people, I just got to go listen to it. Oh, word, you know what I mean? Word. And he yeah, just, he wanted to say, it's like, it's like three or four of them that I really, really, um, him, it's another cat out his, uh, camp that you actually got to meet at the battle rap, Blade Montana. Oh, Blade. Yeah, Blade. So, um, Blade, nice. so shout yeah, Blade. yeah, he nice. Shout out to Blade. I think he got some battles coming up. The whole TBA. Shout out to the whole TBA. Yeah, yeah, so, okay. yeah definitely. The, battle, the uh, Bar Association, that's what that is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I be seeing them. I, I follow them on the, uh, Hamlin, the Bar Association. Yeah, facts. Big 757 yeah. moving right now. I follow them on the light. But uh, Blade actually moving up in the battle shit too, so now facts. Yeah, so you do battle rap? No, I'm, I'm, a battle? Big, I'm a big supporter. Was you yeah. I was not in his battle, yo. I felt so bad because you know what I'm saying. I felt like um, I feel like my I feel like my town. I feel like we gotta do a better job of supporting each other. Okay. And the shit was in Looper News. Whole Virginia gotta in, do something better. Right. Like that. That's a fact. I mean, I, 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 I live in the seven five, so I kind of felt you know bad. Man, I wasn't able. Everybody, video, everybody, but, um, everybody, but, um, everybody, I watched the video, dog, and he like demolished dude. Like it wasn't even like. Yo, he spent. He had some shit. 
he got some footage from that show. Yeah. Man, that should be going viral right That now. should be going viral, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I've seen that's that. That's a joint. fact. Like, yeah, I, mean, I was in the wild. building with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I felt that. Yeah, I said, yo, him time. and Notes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Notes too. But they, they both doing big things with that. Yeah, that's a fact, man. Them, them boys is nice. And I'm going to tell you something about that battle rap shit. I'm actually going to be at the battle Saturday URL. Shout out to Uncle Smack. Um, they coming to uh, uh, Richmond on Saturday. Okay. So me and my man, my homeboy, Barber. As a matter of fact, my yeah, homeboy, like, uh, like. a, 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 a stupid Barber, um, he's nice like, with it. Yeah, um, like. yeah I got a light. Yeah, it's over there, the seat over there. But, um... Loud Facts TV, man. A boys so, in the um, building. They, um... Coming to Richmond, so me and my homeboy, we, we we sliding up there for that. So we're gonna be up there in the, in the battle. Is he battle, or he just going to support too. No, nah, we just going to watch. We okay. we, we okay. big supporters of the uh, whole battle rap culture. Okay. So um and uh, man, yeah, man, that battle rap shit it helped me. You know what I mean with making music because I like bars. I like to have a, a dope flow. You know what I'm saying. No so question. It kind of it kind of helped me um as far as wittiness go. Okay. Like ooh, they next level that shit. Like you can't say like you know how some things niggas can't say no more. Like, um, it's just some bars niggas can't say no more that you get Do tired you of hearing. Do you think battle rappers can make songs? I think some of them can. Just like some, just like some hip hop niggas can yeah, battle rap. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> the topic I mean? going around lately. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it don't fucking matter. Yeah, it don't matter. Do what work for you. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? If they're battle rapping working for them, then they shouldn't be fucking worried about making songs. But you know how battle rap is. The yeah. whole hip hop is a well, is a, is a, well, is a, uh, a competitive competitive sport. Right. sport. And, and, and it's I'm, a sport. I'm, and I'm yeah, tell you so everybody is a battle. Everything. And I'm gonna tell you what hip hop has got. It's funny you said that. We're gonna get back to Pittsburgh. Yeah, y'all always talk about it. But it's funny you said that because I personally feel like, bro. Niggas be acting like hip hop is not competitive. It's competitive. It's competitive. You have bro. to accept that first. It's competitive. Like yo, you have you know to I mean? understand that. Like I'm cool. I fuck with everybody. You got bro. professional artists out there. Yeah, yeah. you got. And that's my thing about yeah, it. Bro. You, got you, you got professional you artists. You got, you got, you got what it is. I'm you got you some rappers. I got some people that's rappers. I'm gonna tell you something. You got some people that's artists. That's two different things. No, you got you got you got your you got your professional artists. I'm not a, I'm not a professional artist, and that's just how it is. Yeah, that's 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 a fact, bro. That's how it breaks down because your professional artists is making the making the moves to elevate. In this business, you know right. what I'm saying? Because this is a business. Right. And then your unprofessional artists is just running around saying, I'm a rap artist. You know what I'm saying? And they, they are rap artists. Rappers. They're not doing professional yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. Facts, man. Take it up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And so I personally, feel like, I personally feel like hip-hop would be in a better state if niggas would just accept the fact that this shit is competitive, man. It I feel like a lot of people... I mean, a lot of people uh, take... They put pain in their music. You yeah, know man. And then the thing it. about it, y'all... And then here you know my thing right here. That's, that's a lot of music was going on today. You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah. lot of singing going in songs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's pain. I guess they singing. Yeah, you know that's a fact, And then your flow... I like your flow because, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a lot of flows. In, and if you know music these days, you know what I'm saying? His flow is like a concrete... Rap, hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Flow, you know what I'm saying? He gonna put down. Things work, you know what I'm saying? He gonna put down real rap. Yeah, he got that real rap. Yeah. His bars are, you know what I'm saying? You know, you understand every word I say. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no trying. Oh, what did he say? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, facts, man. So like, you know, that's 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 how I feel about it, man. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, facts, man. So like. I just feel like, man, hip hop is competitive, and I feel like it'll be in a better state if people would just acknowledge, yo, this shit is competitive. It's like, competitive. Yo, I'm I supporting had to you, that point. and this is my thing, bro. Um, some people just are competitive nature people. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if I was playing tennis, nigga. I'm not trying to come in second. Right. I don't give yeah. a fuck if we swimming. Uh -huh. right. I ain't trying to come in second. I don't give a fuck what we doing, come nigga. To win, my nigga. I came to win, nigga. And if you ain't come to win, Power get the fuck around. We came to win. Listen, bro, my thing is like, uh, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you start putting music like on Apple Music and shit like that, you trying to get rich, right? You trying to get rich, right? If you trying to get rich, that means you're, you, you're trying to put yourself amongst the current niggas we watch every day in hip hop, the babies, the J. Coles, the Drakes. Okay. Right? Yeah. Are you mean you mean to tell me that once you get to that level, you cool with being second? Nigga, once I get there, I'm I'm really gonna turn up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Supposed to. Like I'm, I'm really supposed gonna turn to. up. I ain't I ain't and about run to that sit bag there. up. You know Facts. what I'm saying? I'm not saying. about to sit there. You can't there. be content. Yeah, I'm not trying to be second with second place. I'm not trying to be second. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be content with being on I'm one of the winners. Right, right. <laughs> I'm yeah. one of number one. So, so, you know, fact, so you got very competitive in this sport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you moved, got your bag up, had your equipment. He's very competitive, and, too, because he and got went, that college bag on that side. And, 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 <laughs> and you went straight to work. 
Yeah. But you in Pittsburgh, you know, you accomplish a lot. You know what I'm saying? Talk to the people about, you know, all these that pimp mixtapes I'm looking at right now, man. Yeah, man, I got um. How many so, mixtapes you got out? How many mixtapes you got out? This is this four, is four. We're gonna say years. four mixtapes. Yeah, this is in two years. He put four mixtapes in two years. I put yeah. four. Oh, mixtapes. you was working. And, and, and you working. Yeah. That's work. How many mixtapes? Yeah, at the same yeah. time, I'm working my full time yeah, job. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and you recording and, yourself and everything. No, I was actually recording. Um, we gonna get into that. I was recording at the um. I was recording at uh, ID Labs. But when I first started out, yeah, I was recording myself, just okay. doing my own thing. I recorded uh, Open Letter to Jay-Z, Mixed and Mastered That by myself, and I did the same thing to uh, Life After Graduation. Or that's, so that's, that's, the, that's the second two. That's the that's the last two, yeah. Educated Misfit and Educated Misfit 2, they came out back to back. Then the um, uh, Life After Graduation came out, and then that's when Open Letter to Jay-Z came out. Hold yeah. on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was man. that about? Oh, what was that about? Shit, what was you feeling at that time? How many tracks was on that money, man? Shit, probably like thirteen. I thirteen think. tracks was on that joint. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. But you talking to you yeah, had something to talk I, um, about, um, didn't you? I, I um, I I did thirteen because the blueprint had thirteen. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so I did thirteen. So I, that's you actually speaking to Jay with this shit. I was, yeah, man. Um, uh, yeah, I actually got a verse. I'm gonna put this in this, Jay's hand one day. I'm gonna put it in his hand one day. Yeah. But we gonna put it in his hand. I'm going with you. 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 i am going with you 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 and two years. How long was that break in between? That break was a year. Okay, that wasn't a long break. I mean, you know I was working saying? on I was working on my first and album. I'm wrong with you know it. what I'm saying? I'm wrong with it. Because you can't force the music all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because right. right. you know I'm, saying? Cause I'm pretty sure you was it. going through something to make you put this work down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, You're facts. learning yourself. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Throughout all this music. You know and, and what I'm saying? Cookies, baby. So you in the studio working with... The, su the, the supervisor from your job, the producer, he got you in there with um, right. J4. Facts. He brought us back to that. I appreciate that. Okay. So basically, um, my supervisor, he like, man, you know what? Come to the studio. Going back to that. So I get there. So when, when I hop out the whip, I'm like, yo, hold on. So first of all, when I first of all, I'm still not with a car. So I caught the subway over there. And so I had to get off the subway and probably walk like a quarter, probably about a quarter of a mile. Mm -hmm. But everything downtown, so a quarter of a mile seemed like it's right up the street. Right, you feel right. me? Because there's a bunch of buildings and shit like that. And it's cold. And it's, it was cold as a mother. <laughs> and um, so, uh, man, when we, when I, when I been the, when I been the corner to the studio, when he told me to meet him in the back, I don't see nothing but Rafes, uh, Lambos, <laughs> Bentleys. <laughs> Uh, Eyelash Studio, man. Bro, ID Pittsburgh. Lab Studio. That's where Wiz and Mac Miller record at. Okay, um, okay. And if you saw that picture that he shared earlier, that's where I was at with the Mac Miller plaque and the Wiz Khalifa plaque in the back. What's the name of the studio? ID Labs. That's where okay. everybody go in Pittsburgh. Uh, Trapping Hardo. Shout out to Hardo. Um, rest in peace, Jimmy Wapo. Okay. Uh, shout out to 54 Regiment, Johnny Mace. Just some good people shout that out. I got in tune with while I was in Pittsburgh. But, um... So yeah, I recorded my first studio album. I went to the um engineer. I'm like, yo, I ain't no drug dealer. I'm not no nothing, bro. I said I'm gonna keep a hundred with you. I mean, these is top, but these are Grammy nominated fucking Producers. engineers and shit, yeah, right? No so you know, I so said he bought his paper. So I went to him. I said, yo, you know, I ain't out here hustling. I don't sell no drugs or nothing. Um, I'm working this shit. I get paid every two weeks, like like the normal average American. I said, but yo, if you can work with me on a budget, bro, I got some fire. Right, right. So he gave me his price. He gave me some uh, payment arrangements. The money, the initial payment that he wanted, I had in my pocket. So I said, well, shit. We, Drop I, that on him. I'll give that to you right now. So I gave that to him right then. I went to work right then. I already had the songs. Because, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're going back and forth to the studio, when you're book bag and shit, you got your hard drive, junk drive. So I already had the beats that I had bought and shit like that. Yeah. So we went to work right then. He was like, oh, all right, word. And so we went to work. And um, Miss Cookie's baby was born, dog. And um, my niggas tell me that uh, Summer's Mind, which just recently dropped, is don't even come close to Miss Cookie's baby. 
But like I was telling my niggas, I like the name of that project. Yeah, yeah, Miss Cookies Baby. Yeah, that's my mom. That's my mom's nickname. I like some gas. I don't know what that joint. I like the name of that. Yeah, yeah I, I might mean. do that when I get rich. That's a strand that I'm gonna make. Oh, Miss Cookies own. Baby. What was the difference between you know you 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 doing the mixtapes, mixtapes, and then you wanting to do the album? And you actually, you know, invested more into the album. Yeah. Like, what what happened, man? Did the game um, change? The game changed, bro, right in front of my eyes. I remember, um, like I was speaking on earlier, um, we, uh, I'm, I'm going to hand a nigga a CD. Yeah. And, um. This CD, this CD days. The nigga like, yo, you got iTunes? Apple Music or anything? Are you on there? You I'm like, damn. It. What was you pushing at the time? I was, was pushing. Open letter to Jay-Z. Open letter to Jay-Z. The la- that, that, that's the last mixtape. And that, that just catches a nigga like, hold on, I need to buy I'm this like, shit. I'm like, hold on. I know I want to buy this shit right there. Yo, there's, listen, there's, 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 like, like, I asked you, were you talking to Jay and this shit? Yeah. I want to hear what you had to oh, say yeah, to Jay. Oh, yeah, definitely. I got a, um, man, I got a, um. I got a lot to, I got a lot to say to Jay-Z, too. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? <laughs> man, I got these verses in my head, man, you know, uh, verses that'll never leave me just off that uh, title track, Open mm-hmm. Letter to Jay-Z, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I think that's like one of my favorite songs. I talk about a lot of personal shit, um, talking about going to get my, you know, going back and get my cousins and shit, making my grandma proud. She probably be looking down on that mm-hmm. and just proud at all her grandkids and shit good, and my, which are my first cousins and shit like mm-hmm. that, and that the family good. So, I, I mean, um, that that's what Open Letter to Jay-Z was, you know okay. what I'm saying, okay. pretty much, and um, just trying to trying to make it out. That shit called a heavy buzz. I'm, you know, when you're making something that got Jay Z name in it, like yeah, a title, I'm like, you got to put it all in. I'm like, this the one. This the one. <laughs> this the one. one. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, shit, this right here about to be the one, man. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? I can feel it in my bones and shit so like you, that. You out there really hand in hand and pushing this shit. Yeah. You know, and, and, and then you drop. And then, and then niggas is like, I don't facts. buy CDs no more. I drop. I'm saying it got a good online. Pr- it got a good. Uh, it did great. You know what okay, I'm saying? That Cause like that piff is still that piff, regardless of how you look at it. Uh-huh. And, 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 and niggas was still fucking with that piff because one nobody's at the time trying to spend ten dollars on Apple Music and shit like okay. that. You know what I'm saying? And I think at the time Apple Music might have been more higher than that when it first came out, but I'm really not sure. Mm-hmm. But um, so like I was doing that, um, hitting the niggas with the with the uh, that piff link too, like on. Okay. Facebook and shit okay. like that. I was yeah. doing shit like that too, but um. So you was working. You you was, man, I was working. You was bro. learning the game too at the same that, time. You know the game, what I'm saying? Because that's the process. And that's you the know thing. What I'm yeah, yeah. And you that, gotta learn. And, you know and, and, I mean? and the thing about that, bro, a lot of people be trying to hop into this shit and skip that ten thousand hours, bro. They say it take ten thousand hours of, of for mastery. You know what Every I'm brick wall you of came a, to, you you, you a, jumped it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Over learning to master your craft, they say it take ten thousand hours. And a lot of people be trying to skip that, bro. But the grind is like the grind. And what makes you? The grind, the energy of the grind yeah. runs off the universe. Right, exactly. So it's not gonna I let believe. you. It's not gonna let you cheat it. I believe it. No, it's like God, bro. It's yeah, watching yeah. when you ain't watching. Yeah, yeah. No when you short, take that break no, and be like, yo, I'm not no gonna finish this verse. In life. You know yeah, yeah. Right? ain't no, no shortcuts, bro. It ain't no shortcuts. And we all to try to take a shortcut and had to come back to that spot. Yeah, 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 right yeah, 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 I don't yeah. give a fuck. Now I, now, I know my shit because you, you get prone to knowing your shit because when you first start out, it's money, 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 money. You got to pay the producer, engineer, this and that. It's money, money, money. So you're not going to the studio without knowing your shit. Yeah, because they're going to rush you. Some yeah. producers are trying to rush you out. I'm wasting time. You got to know your shit. Yeah, you got to know your stuff this before you go this in the studio. Back to the conversation. Don't try to go you to the studio. Artists, yeah. You have professional artists. Yeah. You unprofessional That's the thing about with some of these people professional go artists, to the studio. When they go to the studio, That's eight hours black. Uh, I'm sorry. How your shit ready? They're going to create an album in that eight hours. Right. You know what I'm saying? But some people go to the studios and they be in there for hours for one song. Right, you know facts. But that's facts, professional and unprofessional, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Facts, you, you, you get your shit right, then you go to the studio so you don't have to waste no time. Yeah, how your, yeah. your hooks in some place, how your verse in place. Some people say you need to build. go to the studio. Before I even go, I know what I'm saying? And other people was like, I need to build in the studio yeah. and smoking weed. And yeah. I got and school and I got school with these. Like I said, I'm in ID labs, bro. Like Wiz and them like might walk through. You know what I'm saying? Mac Miller might walk through. You know what I'm saying? I'm at ID Labs, and that was the first time I knew that recording, you got to... Recording the album. No, not recording the album, but that was the first time that I knew that niggas wrote ad-libs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The average nigga don't write their ad-libs. 
And I never thought to write my ad libs. These niggas. That's when you them. picked up that to the game. That's when I picked up. up. I added that. Like, oh, I gotta yeah. write these ad libs. Because most people would do the ad libs after they do the whole song. The whole like, song. Like, yeah. 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 They go on the streets already already know. And that's something like with the game that changed to because a whole song these days can go just off the ad libs. Off the hook. Off the ad libs, bro. Facts. So the ad lib do matter. You can't just do that all the time. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Uh. Uh. Yeah, you can't just be back there all the time just doing that. You know that? who I first started yeah. knowing that ad libs was Gucci Man, because Gucci Man, it's Jeezy for me. <laughs> Jeezy too, you know, both of them came around yeah, the same time. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all something crazy about that. That's kind of like connected Gucci, with Jeezy skirt, skirt, skirt. that I just found out. So like in the in the Jeezy Trap or Die mixtape. I always thought those D, uh, DJ drummer sounds was crazy, like Cannon, Cannon. Mm -hmm. That's Cannon. That's not drama. That's Cannon. Nah, that Cannon is separate. Nah, he's talking about nah, something like he's, nah. That's drama. That's drama's. That's drama's tag. When they say Cannon and, no, 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 and no, dramatic no, no, and all no, that no, shit. No, no, no. That's Cannon. That's that's DJ Don Cannon's tag. Yeah, but I'm saying it's, like when separate. they that's just that's like his, when they that's his drama. I'm talking about when, when they on the project drama. together. Like oh, when man. they on it together. You know how sometimes they'll be on the same track together. Like Cannon will make the beat, but DJ Drama he's just a DJ. You know what I'm saying? Now Cannon's a DJ too. Oh, I, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know he DJ. Yeah, he, host, he hosted my um, my I, uh, Aki Fontaine's mixtape that I had to rap. Oh, I heard. When I first, oh, you don't probably know me when I first got out here. No, I got uh -uh. here three years ago with the rap V. It can't be young forever. You know what I'm saying? My my whole vehicle was fully rap. You know what I'm saying? That's Aki Fontaine, but Don Cannon, he hosted that shit. You know what I'm saying? No, and, that's crazy. And, and that's that's his be... drive. The Cannon. The yeah. Cannon. And what, that, that was the beat that he made for um for Lil Wayne. For Lil Wayne, right. For also, that's uh, dedication, his, too. That's also his drop. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So That's Don Cannon. That that drop, mm -hmm. yeah, is Pet Summerall on Monday Night Football saying Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon. Oh, he yeah. chopped it, and that's why he, that's why he be like steps back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's Pet okay, Summerall, yeah. bro. I never knew uh -huh. that. I found that shit out like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Facts. <laughs> little, little fun hip hop fact. Yeah, fun hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> Facts, man. But um, Charles yeah. Cannon, man, can't be young forever. Go get that motherfucking mixtape. I done push hell yeah. Whole bunch of them bitches, man. Yeah. Rap V. And um, so when I'm in the studio in Pittsburgh, man, I'm just working hard, working hard. People in and out, people in and out, starting to kind of like take notice. Um, and that's when I met uh, a white boy that did music marketing mm -hmm. in the studio, working with all the big artists. And I met him. He curates Spotify playlists. Some of the playlists got like a hundred thousand mm -hmm. listeners and shit like mm -hmm. that, likes mm -hmm. and shit like that. And um, I met him. Mm -hmm. I chopped it up with him. I told him I had a budget. I'm like, yo, I got a budget, man. I'm trying to stay within. And, um, you know what I mean? And um, shit, it was on from there. I I I dealt. I gave him some bread when the album dropped. And uh, should I woke up like two weeks later and I had like 60,000 streams. Mm, 60,000. I woke up like a month later, I was at like 100,000 streams. Mm. Oh, me taking I, off. They, man, they look. I woke up like a month later, I was Listen. at 150,000 streams. Damn. And then before I know it, when it, start, when, it start, when it started to like come down and like kind of like level out, I was like, okay, you streaming now. Oh yeah, we did. You seeing you seeing money coming in. I'm seeing bit. money coming in now. Okay, okay. Like I'm seeing money coming in now. Okay. You know, if you don't know, rappers get paid every three months. They get paid by the. And court. this off the streaming sales. This just off streaming. Okay, let mm -hmm. the people know. So yeah. when you so stream, like, you get your bag every three months. You I get, know what I'm saying? I get every dollar. I write. I write my own music. Okay. Um, I do pay the producer, but I buy the beat, so they get their credit or whatever the case may be. So your um, music is paying off for you right now. Facts. You're making you know it saying? pay off. No facts. question. And I own the label. And I only do I own my own record label. I own my own publishing. So I get the publishing bag, the label royalty bag, my writer bag. I get like four bags. Like probably like I think I get like five bags every three months. But it's all regard to the music. But it's just and like it's all for you. This is just for yeah. you branding and marketing yourself. You branding know what and marketing saying? myself, spending my own bread, bro. And I'm and I'm and, I, and I, I'm gonna tell people this too. I'm gonna tell anybody out there that's making music this shit right here, bro. There would be times where my marketing payment would be due and my light bill would be due, and I would pay the marketing payment. 
Man, if you don't sacrifice out this motherfucker, like I'll call the light company in Pittsburgh and be like, yo, let me get an extension. No question. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even ashamed to say that shit yeah. because look where it got me. Man, you sometimes you gotta put your bills on extension. Bro, bro, you listen, know what I'm saying? I got a hundred dollars for you right Facts. now. Facts. I'm gonna get back with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. Nah, hey, listen. Hey, listen. <laughs> no, no, ain't no, no sacrifice. You gotta put that bill on, on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, no sacrifice. I'm gonna take care of bro. I'm telling you. You gotta sacrifice. I'm telling you. And when you sacrifice, you just gotta. To take care of certain things, they, so so you got a priority right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying your dreams and your whatever you want to achieve, all your ambitions, all that shit is right in the inside of the door that you scared to sacrifice and open. Right in man. front of you, that shit right there, man. I'm telling you. And that's real shit. I mean, that's, that, that's, that's good work, man. That's real you know shit. what I'm saying? You got your music off for you. you know that's for anybody, saying? man. That's, 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 that's making music. Because, like you said, you got some people who are just rapping and such and such. No, such no, no, such. no, 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 no. You got professional. Yeah, professional. Right? <laughs> I'm professional. Yeah, I'm professional. Yeah. Yeah. This man is a professional yeah, right here. But no, no. But he's in the seat. He got He got it. He's getting money off his music. But this the thing, though. This the thing. Salute. Big salute. This the thing, bro. All I did was it's cats that it's cats that be on this it's cats that got their shit together that make music where I'm from and niggas is nice like I'm telling you I'm, people where I'm from can rap everybody make music um and it's like where we at right now where me and the cats around my neighborhood that make music where we at right now, some young kid gonna come five years from now and do some shit that we ain't think of the same way that I came along and did some shit well, that my man, that my old head dads might not have thought of. Well, but no I question. told y'all that put me well, on. Game stay changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, so different things. Game stay right. changed. The game stay changed. You know what I'm saying? Like, my homeboy, he, like, screaming won't, screaming won't they error. That's not what, that won't they error. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And these niggas was nice. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. Cats there in my neighborhood, we all nice. Everybody make good music. You know what I'm saying? You got cats that sing and all that shit that make good music. We nice. Five years from now, bro, somebody else going to come along and be nicer than we are. No question. It's just the evolution, bro, bro of the dude, game. That, is that one of the reasons that you started the um, record label? Facts. What's the name of the record label again? Foreign Music Group. The AU. The AU. For those that don't know, I got the AU. Um, Cause I put it on all the clothes. And you, oh, yeah. that's the logo. Yeah, that's the logo right that's here. That's on hot right there. I appreciate that it. Joint, that joint, like, that joint official right there. Is she official? She yeah, that joint right gonna go right there. That joint go right there. You heard that? You did you hear that? That joint is crazy. Just copyrighted you know everything. Facts, man. That shit is official. Copyrighted, trademark. No question. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta tune in, man. Hey, you, man. That joint official. So, so, the record label. You know what I'm saying? Like you just said. Five years from now, it's gonna be somebody from your hood. That's that's that's. You got any artists to the uh, label? Just crazy. Or it's just you? No, nah, it's mainly no. Nah, it's just me, bro. That's that's like sign. Like I actually have a contract. Okay. To my record label. I understand. Trust me. I'm because a... I didn't want to take <laughs> off. Uh -huh. I didn't want to take off and then say like. First of all, let me say I will only sign the two people in the game. If I can't sign to these two people right here, I will stay independent. Well, these two people. Ross and Hove. You're signed Ross, Ross and Hove. If I can't sign the Ross or Hove, I don't want the record deal. Okay. Okay. Because they they have proven in this success. New, I mean, yeah. in this new day and age, and they did it their way. And everybody that went I'm with the them, same way. It's on the one I person mean, I signed with. You bro, know listen. Shouts out to Diddy, man. <laughs> <laughs> man Holla at your boy, man. Pull up, man. Bad boy, man. Y'all already know what the count is. I probably respect that. I got one person. He got two. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Super picky, y'all. I probably, I probably, I probably would, would though. Um, if the contract, right? That would be my. That's that's ultimately the main thing. Okay, yeah. But um, shit. Um, yeah. So the record deal is so that um the contract serves its purpose because I don't want. Say like a whole call or a Ross call. I don't want to get down there in Miami meeting with Ross and I tell him I got my own record deal and he be like, well, where the paperwork at? Because a lot of niggas be saying that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. where your paperwork at? if you say you got a record deal. Right. That's I wanna, yeah, that's what that means. Yeah, yeah. You got a record deal, nigga. You, I don't care if it's your small label. Let me see, produce your paperwork. No question. Because I got to maneuver my deal. I'm going to give you around your paperwork. paperwork. Exactly. Facts. It's business. It's all in the business. Yeah. It's, it's business. All in the paperwork. paperwork. It's, it's all in the paperwork, business. bro. You know what I'm saying? No, it's really all in the fine print. Yeah, that's the paperwork. On the paperwork. That's the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And but, this is uh, behind the music. The fine print, this, they don't all this is behind the yeah. music. And that's right. All this is after you make the music. You know what I'm saying? So, this, this process, this is about your ass. They, they you know don't what understand saying? what they sign they, they name, they name on. They, right. They name yeah, on. facts. That's, that's, that's their that's they money. That's their life. That's, that's their next couple years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yep. they, that, I 
I like the fact and that also a record deal, yo. The, the record deal, That's man. The I record deal kind of defines who you are as an artist and what your goals are. Fifteen years from now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's, that's, and I'm gonna just leave that at that. Yeah. And if you know, you know. Yeah, long you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like your first music video. Yeah. Your first minute music video. Your first music video. That's why I'm so glad I waited to get good quality videos and shit like that. Because your first music video really defines who you are as an artist. Because that's the first visual that the world gets. What's, your, what, what's yeah. your first music video? My first music video. Someone, someone um, someone my first. Oh, you just dropped one four days ago. Oh, that's a studio session. Yeah, that's like an in-studio vlog video oh, yeah. that I did. <laughs> I actually recorded working. that myself. But um, what you got a YouTube channel? Yeah, facts. facts. What's facts, your YouTube channel called? Hey, you would. Subscribe. Hey, you would. YouTube you channel, man. Y'all, you just got my studio sessions in here, right? Yeah, I got uh, music videos in there too. My first official video was shot by King Illy. He from my neighborhood too. He got his whole grind. Franklin. Franklin. Okay. You already know. What's that called? What's that? King Illy. Uh, that, that, I mean, it's on. He did the video to Tom Brady. Tom it's called Brady. Tom Brady. Yeah. Facts. Right, it's a bomb. Let's get into that right now. Let's quick, get into man. that. Let's hit Tom Brady. That's the teaser right there too. That's the perfect length for you. I know the people chomp there on the head. Man, man shouts out to everybody tuning in, man. What's good, man? If y'all got any questions, man, send them Jones 7, man. I'm going to check the screen in a minute. God damn it, we going to ask them, man. Hey, you would in the building. That man, this shit is so beautiful. All flames when I'm coming out the studio. In this bitch, I'm Julio. Touchdown. Everything going diamond. Bust down. Fuck clowns, man, cause they never made it. Come back with mortals, nigga. I'm never jaded. Levitated. Chris Angel with raps. If you a fuck boy, I look away when we dap. It's no love. My water. What happened? Uh, um, the, the trailer or something? Mm-hmm. You, play, you played the trailer oh, or something. Okay. Like, which is okay. all, he love, played all the, good. He played the sneak peek. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He gave it. Right back, man, this shit is so beautiful. All flames when I'm coming out the studio. In this bitch, I'm Julio. Touchdown. Everything going diamond. Bust down. Fuck clowns, man, cause they never made it. Come back with mortals, nigga, I'm never jaded. Levitated. Chris Angel with raps. If you a fuck boy, I look away when we dap. It's no love. I'm Nate Dog. If your hand out, my nigga, I'm Ray Charles. A lot of long nights sitting there, face palm. Whole lot of prayer and some hard ass raps. If you grind hard, sometimes it take long. Now they send checks online, that's facts. Girl saying, would you the bomb, may palm. Fat boy with some hard ass tats, hold up. I'm just trying to be great. Mama said, when I'm in the field, watch out for the snakes. Whole hood praying for a nigga, they await. I cannot let them down. Hey, dreams, we got a date. We got a date. I'm just trying to be great. Mama said, when I'm in the field, watch out for the snakes. Watch out for the Whole hood praying for a nigga. Don't worry, though. God got a plan for a nigga. Man, I'm about to score a touchdown. Touchdown. I'm Tom Brady, baby, when it comes to the rats. Man, I'm about to score a touchdown. touchdown. Uh, I'm Julio and Red Zone when the coverage got a gap. Man, I'm about to score a touchdown. Virginia star kicked off and I'm about to run it back, man. I'm about to score a touchdown. Uh, she played a D cause she know a nigga love to chase sacks. Look, man, I gotta be the greatest. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Middle finger to you haters. Them boys act hard, but they really now and later. This type to see you now and say they see you later. But this big man run the flow like Draymond. Warrior with the rap. Ben Baker get my cake on. That's Bucks, nigga. Bucks, nigga. Shout out to Milwaukee. Always to myself, baby. I don't go out often. I just want a statue when they put me in my coffin. Rolling back to back. You can probably hear me coughing. Bad bitches text us like a nigga from Austin. Flow stone cold. God, he's so awesome. awesome. I'm just trying to be great. Mama said when I'm in the field, watch out for the snakes. Whole hood praying for a nigga. Don't worry, though. God got a plan for a nigga. Man, I'm about to Score a touchdown. Hey, I'm Tom Brady, baby. When it comes to the raps, man, I'm about to score a touchdown. Uh, I'm Julio in red zone. When the coverage got a gap, man, I'm about to score a touchdown. Uh, Virginia star kick off, and I'm about to run it back, man, I'm about to score a touchdown. Uh, she played a D, cause she know a nigga love to chase sacks. All out facts right there, all out facts.
Flash right there. You know what he said, though. You know what he said, Tom What are you about to do? What, man? About to score a touchdown. Score a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? Already, man. That shit was some pressure right there, man. That was some heat right there. You just told me this. That's that Franklin work, man. You know what I mean? Franklin, Virginia in the building. Franklin, VA, man. Live in the V. This is A Wood, you know what I'm saying? Man, if you ain't tuned in yet, man, make sure you go tune in, man. Wood, man. A U the gang, man. Shouts out to Franklin, man. A City shit. So, so, so let's yeah, get back to the story, man. Yeah, so the video though, uh huh. Um, the first joint was shot by uh King Illy. Okay. Like I said, he from Franklin. Um, he got the whole Ill Grind movement Il and Grind. um also Ill Grind Multimedia. <laughs> yeah, so um, Grind Multimedia. And so yeah, uh, uh, he shot that. So that that's another thing. Like, it's just like a bunch of talented people where I'm from. No you know, question, so also the same person that shot the video I just told you about, he do all the uh, album covers. Um, I I don't. And mixtape covers. He done did all six. Okay. I don't okay. even want um. That's all. You know what I mean? Like I don't even want to deal with nobody else. That's okay. like he fight with the graphics. Yeah, I, I, I and, like and, it. And you do. You tap in with the graphics. Yeah, too. I'm, I'm tapped in with the graphics you too. With the graphics. I don't like. I don't like doing my own shit though. Right. right. Yeah, ain't no wrong. I like. I like paying for that service. You can do it. If it's an emergency, you would do it though. Right. If it's an emergency, I'll definitely do it. Do it. <laughs> I got. I got this one time. No I got this. I got this. And graphics. I mean, when I got this, I had to respond. Uh -huh. But got, I did. I, on, I, you mean you got this in a diss record? In a diss record, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. And a diss record. Yeah, yeah, around here. Right 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 you know it's a competitive sport. Yeah, anyway. it's, a, it's a sport. It's a no, sport. I mean, I mean what, what city was they from? The they was from my neighborhood. Oh, oh Frank. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah who, definitely. Who dissed you? That was when I got off the board. We're going to keep it going? Who dissed you? We're going to be something. You know what? I'm gonna be real with you though. The dude that actually this me is actually a pretty good fucking rapper. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. I ain't even so lie. I mean, you know what? So crazy. He to, mentioned you. To this day, I don't know why he stepped out and dissed me. Because he noticed you. I ain't gonna deny that. Well, but, noticed <laughs> I ain't gonna deny that. Song, song. But at the same time, he had just dropped the project that okay. I was actually listening to. Okay. Not not when I heard this this record, but like I would he a project he had was out right. that I was actually vibing to. Got some got some hard jams on there. I'm not, I'm, I'm and a, then he I like you. the music first, so I'm not going to hate yeah, on the music. And, and then he disses you. Yeah, then he then he disses you. Then he <laughs> So 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 yeah. So did, but did, the thing what was your response to the diss? Yeah. Um, did you respond? Fuck yeah, I responded. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, some yeah, people yeah, don't respond to this. Okay, Tom no, Brady no. didn't respond, right? No, Tom Brady. It's about to score a touchdown. It's about to score a touchdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Brady ain't that. Yeah, Tom Brady ain't that. Yeah, Tom Brady ain't that. But, um, it's and I did it. YouTube? It is on YouTube. Let's hear the disc record. But, um, I didn't want to, um. What's the name of the disc record? The name of the disc record is, uh, Eric's Revenge. Oh, I think I did. But I didn't want to, um,. Get anybody involved in that? Like I won't gonna call my man, be like, "Yo," because every, everybody like mutual. I mean, you know, from a small I mean, city. Anytime everybody, you, call, you are supposed to go by yourself anyway. Yeah, everybody, mom, no. Some everybody people call. Like some people need help from this person. Facts. You ain't call on no help. You was like, "I'm gonna do well, it nah, myself." Well, he do covers, so but I, but that he oh, also oh, I know this guy. So he also he, he, so he this, oh, this is him. Yeah, that's him. He so do he covers too. That dude right there. Yeah. Who you? What you say? He does what? Oh no, nah, that dude right there. He just rap. He just rap. He make music. And he hot. He hot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Both of y'all hot. So yeah, like, yeah, that's what I'm oh, telling you. We gotta get into this record tonight. Let me see this guy. Let me see this guy. If you wanna know about the disc racket, if you wanna hear the disc racket, you gotta go to A Wood, you know what I'm saying? Every Street Revenge right now, you know what I'm saying? Well, not right now. Yeah, right now. Go and come back, because that's what we about to tune into right now. But, um. You about to play it for the people? Can so, I play it for the people? Yeah, you can play it when we finish. We can play it when we finish talking. Yeah, and like after we finish talking about the actual. Okay, it's high, right, but, it up but, to um, right. Yeah, so um, uh, I didn't want to. Everybody's like, we from a small town, so yeah. like, ain't nobody really. Well, I, I can't say that, but going like, against each other for real, right? Yeah, they trying to stay away from that. It ain't. Bit. It ain't too. It ain't. It ain't, that that situation wasn't that serious. Okay. Um, it was just like a like some some jabs. You know what I mean? But um. So basically, I didn't want to bring in anybody else because everybody kind of like mutual uh, acquaint acquaintances, yeah, yeah. I would say. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you don't want to. I'm not gonna call you and be like, "Yo, do a cover for me." I'm dissing this nigga when I know that you got some type of respect for this nigga. That ain't okay. real to me. Okay. So, so I'm like, "Damn, I gotta do this cover by myself." Like, fuck. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So I did the cover by myself or whatnot. It turned out pretty good. I liked it actually a lot. Um, Is but, this the cover um, right here? Yeah, that's the cover right there. Yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, that's the diss track. But, um, yeah, good record. So, okay, you want to see some macho shit? Yeah, that rap. 
And then, you ready to get into it? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, get okay. into it. Turn that thing Was that on. pop right there? Sound okay. like juice? That's that's pop right there. With the juice intro? That's definitely too The most th One of that's my favorite too. moves. Most thuggest nigga out here. I'm a whole, I have no motherfucking fear. I have no fear. I have only ambition, and I want mine, and I will do anything to protect and feed my family. And these niggas represent a threat. Because I work too hard on this. Too hard on this. Word, nigga. Look. Check it. Nigga, you got me fucked up. Somebody tell him what your man's about. I wish you would and blow the candles out. Hey, look. Ain't you the son that your pops molested? Came in your ass, turned your hoe to nest quick. I'm not to be messed with. Neck with rocks. You really caught balls when you played catch with pops. Take it back to childhood. Check the plot. Whole time it was come that we addressed the slot. Look. My tooth chip like a bag of lays. But that can't save you from getting bagged today. I bag like grocery rage. I know that I'm hot. I sip pepper. Why you mix coke with your snot? Be careful, next time you get plastic I pay the dope man to sell you battery acid I seen it all before, niggas hit the white Years later, gray and death, crack be they vice And you ain't got the juice man, you Capri Sun Running around selling tickets, making five off one Hustle on zero, doing free shows I make a hundred percent, I'm curry from free throw First work for Kilo, ask your bitch she knows Bend the knees man, she make a good D rose I can't say rose without Rest in peace to Mike, I'ma send him a body, you gon' rest in peace tonight Living so fucking good, I got the recipe for life My style they admire, this the best of me tonight You a kite in a hurricane, words like IVs, boy I take it in vain Since you wanna throw salt, make you taste every grain Make you knock on wood twice just for speaking my name I was told be cautious when you touching the clip Use the faucet to wash your hands, I was schooled by drip I was schooled by Jack Rob that if you run that base Don't take a second for granted, you will come home safe yeah, I bought that fire tonight. I'm about to carry this nigga. I'm Mariah tonight. You had a better chance of surviving a flight with no engine, parachute, or a pallet in sight. Last name Turner, your girl, I Linwood. Money like rice, boy, Uncle Ben Good. Ask Dexter. I've been in that laboratory since Lil P used to say, on this drive, we scoring. Make it so hell merry. When I call the play, this love no set right. That's a power 38, nigga. It's my city, ain't nobody fucking with me. Two smokies on me, boy, they Chris Tucker. Me. I'm liable to be in your hood like Great Phantom Yeah, slide through in your hood and Great Phantoms That's a ghost, Rafael getting drunk, that's a dose Y'all want beef, that's a roast King of the East, yeah, nigga, that's toast Y'all hung yourself, I just passed the rope I take your face off like cast the troll We make my shoulder lean, nigga, pass the dro Uh, Eric's revenge, peace long gone Fuck you for helping make an E.T. phone home, nigga Yo, you went crazy on that, dog boy you went, yeah, yeah, you went crazy on that show. That's it. That's 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 yeah. That's you went over, man. That's over. You know. Yeah, okay. A, okay. A, he had to put the pressure on him, though. He wasn't playing. Did he? Did he? No, did no, he come back to that? No, did honestly, he come back to that? Uh, yeah, he did come back. to <laughs> oh, okay. that. But I left it alone. You know what I'm saying? I personally, yeah. um, like I said, he can. He he, he nice. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't take nothing from nobody when yeah. it comes to the craft because yeah, it's good. like football right it's like i like the washington redskins niggas is trash right yeah and we supposed to hate the cowboys right uh-huh but no no you can't have the that's but, that, that's america's team but but what i'm saying is that <laughs> i don't know they, hey, they, they training y'all wrong they training y'all to hate the cowboys but what i'm saying <laughs> is this though i'm a fan of football first so even though i hate the cowboys i gotta respect the nigga like ezekiel elliott Right, right. You the game. You gotta respect the you game. You gotta respect the game. You gotta respect the game. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of nigga I am. And so that's like, a smart way about the game. That's, that's why I tell a whole lot of people about beef going back. Because you, know, you already know, like you know what I mean? How is this record beef come about? I mean, this record is to take you real far. I don't even know how the this record came about, man. To be honest with you, like I said, I was listening to Boy when I got this by him. I was actually. Show them love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, they come out my deck. But, um,. Honestly, um, I kind of do know why I got this, though. I, I can be cocky sometimes, like, on Facebook, you know yeah. what I mean, or something like that. A lot of cats don't like that shit, but I work hard to get Man, to I mean, mean, yeah, so, yeah. You know okay, what I'm saying? Okay. And I ain't never took nothing from that nobody. That inspired you. Yeah, when, you when, know what I'm saying? I earned everything. Yeah. And I, I think, and like, you I, I, well, like you said, you know, why, you, know why, you know why he dissed me? We talked about it already. 
Hip hop is it's competitive. It's competitive, bro. Right. And that's that's point blank it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got um I got a lot of uh respect for his music though. Yeah, yeah. I will say that. I got a lot of respect for his music. So it's all love. And he from the neighborhood too. Like if I see him out of town and niggas stumping him out, I'm not gonna let him get stumped out. Yeah, okay. Because that, that's that's Bro. He from where yeah. I'm from. You know, yeah. I wouldn't let that happen. So you know bro, what I'm saying? Sure yeah, you probably wouldn't let the same thing ride. I don't know, you know but I'm saying? speaking for me, though. Okay, all right. You know how I would rock. You know what I'm saying? That's no just question. how that go. So, yeah. That's what's that, up, we, man. We back to it, but hey, what is in the building? Loud Facts TV. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Street Facts. Co street Center Street, Streets, and, man. Uh, so, you in Pittsburgh, man. Group. We, yeah. we, 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 we went far off. We coming right back to it, man. Right back. You out Pittsburgh, man, and you get this producer that's Grammy nominee, you know what I'm saying? He he doing his thing, working with all the stars to produce Cookies Baby, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and um after that, you know what I'm saying? It's like it, it was a rap out Pittsburgh. After that, like you was ready to come back home. After you had you like, I felt like you was ready. Like yo, I'm going um, back home. what made you want to come, come back home? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. What well, kind of? I was kind of like homesick for real, for real. Oh, okay. You gotta understand, I was in Pittsburgh for like six, seven years, bro. So. Um, dealing with like negative thirty winners and shit, it, I was just like, man, you know what? Maybe it's probably time for a trip back home. Time, time to go back to the crib. Take man. a vacation back home. Yeah, facts. So and um, come back home in two thousand eighteen. Two thousand and eighteen. The beginning of the eighteen. Nah, it's like the middle to tail end part. Oh, so, when, so that's almost like last year. So, so, so February when you came back was just a visit. It was a visit. Yep. Oh, let's go back to February, man. Let's visit. Before yeah. you came back, let's talk about that shit, man. Um, shit, what did I come back for, man? I came back for something in February. Um, I took a trip. Yeah, I took a trip, man. No, nah, man, I trip. came home. Something happened in February that made me came home. That made me come home, man. Did somebody pass away? I hate to say that's what happened, but I think. That might have Did you stay? Happened. Did you take that LA trip in, in in February too? Oh yeah, I also in, in, in February of 2018, I was in LA for the All Star game. Yeah, the All Star okay. game. So I'm talking. And that's how I, yeah, that's how I got um that's how I got uh plugged in out LA. Yes, I met some people. Now? Yeah, I went to on um, the Marathon store. You know what was so crazy about that weekend in LA? Oh, you been to the Marathon store? Oh yeah, facts, okay, okay, facts. Okay. Yeah, I went a couple times. Um. The, the, what was so crazy about that weekend, February 2018, it was All-Star Weekend in L.A. And it was a brilliant marketing uh, idea by Nip because the album dropped that Friday, the same night of the dunk contest. The store opened its doors that Friday, the same day of the dunk contest. So he dropped the album, the, uh, one, probably one of the, the album of the year, in my opinion, for yeah, 2018. Yeah, yeah. And, um... Open the store up. And open the store up the same day, the same well, that's, that's, that's an L day right there. Your yeah, album so, come out. Yeah, that was and a great everybody in town. Max. Everybody in town. Slam dunk contest tonight. Go check out my store. And you got to understand, you know it's All Star oh, Weekend. City out. All, the city out. Exactly, the city, city out. out. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, <laughs> peace, <laughs> man, <laughs> listen, bro. Let's check out something, bro. Man, listen, bro. We I hit road day. We we rented a um we went Phantom. No, we ain't rent no Phantom. It was like a G wagon or some shit like that. Me and my homies, yeah. Yeah. Um. And so we out there, we out there bending corners too, but boy, we thought we was doing something. <laughs> so we, man, we, man, listen here, man, man, we bent Rodeo. We, we, when we bent Rodeo Drive, man, all I saw was like Lambos, Ferraris, Not Rafes. So mighty. I'm talking about uh, uh, drop top Rafe. This Ghost. is the second time seeing this shit now, right? Man, you already seen that Ivy Labs. Yeah, right? I, I see that Ivy Labs too in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. But, but they say, man, now, now you see that it's like everywhere. Yeah. But no, I'm gonna tell you what's really crazy. People like the paparazzi. They run, like if they see a Ferrari, they actually running, bro. Yeah, yeah, they want to get. They run into the money. car. That's they they trying to see who that is. That's they bag. That's they bag. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's real crazy in LA because they feel like they're about to see a movie star or rapper. Or, the footage could be forever. They might fall or anything. Yeah. So LA was dope, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? LA was dope, man. It's I watched a lot out there too, man. Yeah, yeah LA was crazy, I'm man. Um, yeah, LA beautiful, man. Above the great is, earth, bro. Thing, I went to, San, to the Santa Monica Pier, man. That shit was like crazy, yo. I never seen nothing as beautiful as that. You know what I'm saying? Did and, you have um, a clothing line before you went to LA? I did not have a clothing line before I went so, to LA. So Nipsey I Hustle started the clothing store. Inspired. Nipsey Hustle is 100 percent the reason why I started the clothing line. No, and if I did, you no, know, if I did, well, actually, I'm gonna back up on that. Mm -hmm. I kind of got excited on that. Mm -hmm. I would say that's 50 50. Mm -hmm. I would say my cousin Travis mm -hmm. um, and Nipsey Hustle. Okay, Travis from Franklin. My cousin Travis, yeah, he from he, he from got a clothing line. 
Yeah, he uh got a clothing line. Yeah. What's it called? Okay. Uh, it is called um Miser Clothing. M I S E R Clothing. M I S E R Clothing. And um, so yeah, so yeah, man. So he really inspired me. He had been doing it for a while, doing this thing for Did a while. Did you have your record label before you went out there? I had my record label before I went out there. Okay. Because the album was about to drop. I knew the album was going to drop in 2018. Okay, so you got that. Right, you started your record label before your album dropped. Exactly, so I, we ain't got no problems. All my shit is my shit. I see you got everything over yeah, there. You know what I mean? I had actually... So um, that had to be like January. Yeah. It was out there with them in No, it was February. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I started it actually at the end of 2017. Okay, then. Yeah, uh-huh. Same, okay. I got it in the 2017. I think it was like November or some shit like that. So since you've been in business with this record label, again, what's the record label called? Orm Music Group. Okay. For anybody that don't know, Orm uh, Music Group, you know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, I, I, I want to go back to you seeing the artists, you know what I'm saying, five years from now. Is there an artist you're looking at right now from your hood that you see five years from now fucking with your record label? From your hood, though. Is there an artist that I see five years from now that, that, you, want gonna sign, that you want to sign okay. you want to build with within five years? It's an artist right now that I would sign in my neighborhood right now if I had the excess funds to treat him how he's supposed to be treated. Okay, yeah, that's that real. Who's that artist? Um, that real. artist is Sushi Su. Sushi Su. And that nigga don't even know I listen to him. He about to hear this shit and be like, damn, this nigga be listening to me. Yes, nigga, I do. Shouts out Sushi so, Su. Um, how yeah. old is how, you know, how old he is? Shit, he probably like, he one of the young boys. He probably like, he make the drill music, the, you okay, know what I'm saying? Turn up. Yeah. He make that, but he does it good. And I think um, that's the wave. And I think um, when you're talking about, see, when you ask me about my label, I swap from my rapper head to my businessman head. Yeah, you what you can market. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I can, I, can, I can market that. And he's good yeah. at what he does, and he got the image too. So um, I don't even think he know that I be listening to him, bro. I never, I have DM'd him and told him good shit a couple times, like on yeah. Instagram and shit so like he that. Know, he know, he But, okay. um, yeah. He reached out. Yeah, it's I reached out. It's all about reaching yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah I definitely That's reached out. out. I definitely reached out. Well, facts. Um, I actually tried to get him on a show that I had, but it didn't work out because they had an age limit at the club. Well, so how old is he? Okay, okay. Um, young I, cat? Yeah, I think he was, yeah, he was a young cat. I don't know his you exact age. He on shows and shit too? Yeah. Oh, well, friendly? Uh, no, nah, up here in Hampton and shit like that. Okay, okay. Most of the time, when I do a show, man, I got the venue. That's you got a show coming it. up? You got anything coming up? I have a show coming up Saturday night. As a matter of fact, I got a show coming up Saturday night. Triple Effects Lounge in Denby. Y'all don't want to miss this. Uh, the firm's nature is going to be there. I'm going to be in the crowd like a little kid when phone tap come on. But I'm <laughs> going uh, to open that for him. So you want to make sure that you get there so that you can goddamn catch a vibe with a young nigga. Already, so, man. Yeah. Already, man. Y'all yeah. heard that, man. And triple facts, uh, triple facts, triple facts. Shout out to um, shout going out to all the way up Saturday. He turning up for facts. nature, man. Facts. You know what I mean, pull up and, and turn, turn up. Man. He turn up with nature. With yeah, nature. with yeah. nature. Yeah. Facts. And shout out to the owner. Shout out to the owner. A lot of these owners be trying. Man, to like, we need to tap in with triple effects, man. Yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? That's what's up. I'm gonna tap in. It's already, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. I like that's a good spot, owner. man. You know what I mean? Good location and everything. Yeah, they got definitely. some good food there too, man. And they got some amazing. You know what I'm saying? Food, Make oh, sure yeah. y'all pull up and get some food, man. Facts. The chicken wings is bomb. No question. That's all you need. But um, yeah, man. So um, we doing that show on Saturday. I got a busy schedule on Saturday. Like I said, me and my uh, homeboy, he and I, we going to the rap battle. He coming up here Friday night. So I probably had like a little studio session, write some raps when he did. Cause my homeboy too, that be cutting hair and shit. Matter of fact, he be winning like barber competitions and shit. Okay, okay. So if y'all ever need a hey, do, do, shit do like we that. got the barber uh for the seven five seven rap music oh, awards? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay. Oh, he, it's a competition for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a war for the best barber. Bro, I'm gonna you know tell him. Saying? I'm gonna tell him that, bro. He'll like that. Somebody will be getting the best barber award. Best album, best model, best engineer, best graphic designer. Summer's mine, the best album that came out in the top with earlier last year. Okay, y'all hear that? People, he talking about he got the best album. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Online. You he know coming what I'm for the best yeah. album. You can build your content online. Y'all yeah, heard that work. Oh, you know what I'm saying? saying? Use this little platform. Yeah. You got to help yeah. market all this in this area. He said he coming for it. So you coming right. for you coming for that best album? Some is mine. This this for twenty this for twenty nineteen, right? You 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 doing all twenty nineteen, yeah, right? Two thousand and twenty is all for twenty nineteen. I mean, yeah, it's all for twenty. Okay, cool. So it's on like a rolling year. Oh yes, I got you. So with that being said. Local music, Summer's Mind, the best album that dropped in the 757. I got this. I, I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Summer's Mind. Okay. I'm going to go play that. Yeah, I'm going to go, I'm go, I'm go to check it to a lot going. of your shit. Your, your, yeah. The two songs, your three songs that you play, you play the, um, the, the Brady beat, um, the 12 Brady um, touchdown. What's it called? Tom Brady. You play yeah. the Tom Brady for me. 
The this song was crazy. Anyways, this song. That shit was tough. And the yeah, first song was me, crazy. And the first song was crazy, yeah, too. Yes, sir. And, and all three of them got me wanting to hear a lot more. Yeah. You know? And yeah. I, I definitely want to, you know what I'm saying, put on a Jay-Z beat, because I think Jay-Z... And I know you're going to have a whole other show. You're going to have a whole other show. You're going to have a whole other show. So this man. is a Jay-Z type beat. Give me, um... Well, let me see. Hold on. Now, I want. I don't want no tight beat. I want okay. the real. I I want a beat that okay. everybody gonna know. I want to be. Um, give me. Um, matter of fact, give me that Cam losing weight. That first joint. Let me get that. We about to go on a, on a joint. Yeah, we about to go on one live and then we going. You no, know okay. saying wrap it up okay. and then we gonna do another one for the. You know, about to get the boys some bars. Yeah. Okay, the boy about to get some bars, man. We live in the V, man. You know what I'm saying? I got I got a 16 for y'all. No problem. Man, pulled up with a 16, tune in, you know what I'm saying? Make sure your shit right when you pull up and have it together. You so know did you listen saying? to this new Losing Weight on the new Cam album? Man, that shit crazy, ain't it? It's crazy. I like the old one I ain't heard one that, John. You like the old one better? I like yeah, the old Cam better. Yeah, but it's, um... I ain't heard that, John. But, man... You ain't listen to the new Cam album? I ain't yet? heard that, John, yeah. Um... Yeah, that, that, that new Cam... That, that new Cam, they pretty much sampled the old Losing Weight. But they slowed the sample down song. Mm -hmm. So basically, man, that shit is just tough, man. For real. That's the new bars saying. on it? Hey yo, hey yo, hey, what is it the building right now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Let's get into this new facts, freestyle. Man. You know what I'm saying? Live in the V shit. Where it go? There it go. Facts, man. Losing weight, Pete. Can't run it. I really, really, I really, really like what y'all got going on. I really fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out loud, um, Pack, man. Keep it loud going, brother. Keep it going, bro. We needed somebody around here to do this. Told him. A lot no of people question. gonna be doing this. And then uh, a lot of people do it. They want to charge you like an OD price. But at the end of the day, people working nine to five trying to make it. You know, you, um, and you provide and, a you platform, know, you, man. You, you, provide, you, know a, you provide a budgetable platform, man, for everybody in this, um, everybody this will be marketed, thing, man. So get your shit together, seven, man. Pull up live to the V, man. That 757 seven rap award, best album of the year, summer's mine. I don't know if we voting or what. He, he coming for it. I'm telling you. And, 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 <laughs> and, and listen, he coming for it. Set it off. Listen, the niggas ain't, hey, yo, hey, son, he coming for it, man. Rap coming Music for Awards, it. best album of the year last year, Summer's Mine. And it's only eight tracks, and they oh, hard to top. Man. Only one banger. Hey, look, man, hey, we look, got the first also, auditions, too, also, man. Auditions and coming also, up. And ain't no album dropped Lex, last year from around here with that Lex Luger production, neither, too. Okay, so shout out to Lex Luger. 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 We got Lex on the project. Hold on, I want to hear that. I just want to hear that song, man. How that happened? How that happened? Like, you vibe with the guy on a daily basis, or, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't vibe. I'd be lying if I wish I did. That was something you wanted to do from just you want to do it right. because that Lex Luger was, yeah. uh, was a pioneer so I mean to somebody I mean yeah, yeah. yeah. I would want to work with him too i send send him some for a beat too you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. how that come about we didn't even get into that I, yeah. I gotta um, touch that man I, I knew somebody that knew somebody um, a relationship, so and okay. it was an organic relationship uh, uh, I paid 
Don't get it oh, twisted. Oh, yeah, you gotta pay. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Be, I, might, I, be, I some, pay. might be some small, but, might be some big. Yeah. You don't have to pay. Yeah, facts. I paid for that, <laughs> but um, it was definitely well worth it, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, me, and my, me and my cousin say, we got a banger on that joint with, that, with that track. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like with Skip Say. Yeah, yeah, my cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the track with you. Oh, yeah. Um, Say, man. Say, like, uh, he, my, he older than me by a month. Uh -huh. But um, it's just um, we vibe. Every time we get together, it's like a great vibe. Not only are we family, and I know he got my back. Because right, he's right. he not trying to call my pops or my brother or somebody and be like, yo, we out when something happened. Like, so, right, you right. know, when you with family, you it's a little different. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. different than just the homeboy that you met. You know right. what I'm saying? It's a little different because ain't nobody trying to make that call to their aunt. Like, yo, listen, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, While you right. out on the road. All right. So, like, it's, um, I, I trust my family, and I can't wait to actually get some money to actually be able to take, take my, care of them. Right. Okay. I can't, oh, I can't right, really man. take care. I can't, I can't take, I can't nowhere near take care of everybody. Right. So, mm -hmm. Um, I just Keep can't working, wait for. You know what I'm um, saying. I just can't wait for the opportunity to take people that I know got genuine love for me. You've been loving me before this money shit. I know what ain't going on. And way. your music sounds good. I tell, good I tell too, my bro. girl all the time. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate it. You know yeah. 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 Oh, Dorshe Pro is my engineer. She the best engineer in the seven five, and I say that with no disrespect. Shout out Dorshe. And she's a female, so Shouts ladies, out ladies, man, I'm telling you, we gotta get you up here, man. We wanna talk to you too, because this shit sounding good, bro. Definitely. And she's singing. And she's singing on Worth It. And um, she's an educated, oh, yeah. meaning like she degreed up, like man, I mean, uh, as far as that music go. Right, right. So she, she knows, knows what she's she doing. doing. Oh, yeah. She done been trained. I want to meet her. Yeah, right. She's <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah, definitely. She from so, Franklin too. No, nah, she from uh, I want to say Chesapeake or okay. somewhere okay. like that. Okay. I met her. Uh, Summer's Mind was recorded at um, Rico Santana. Okay, I heard some of mine was recorded there at Rico Santana Studio, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard got and so we had an um, organic relationship. I met her at the studio, and um, shout out Rico Santana. Yeah, shout out Rico Santana. Shout out Fidel Castro. Shout out Fidel Castro. Shout out Fidel Castro. Shout out Castro. And, I think he um, just dropped something. Shout like out everybody in my neighborhood that make music. Um, uh, I'm trying to name some people. Uh, Blade. We talked. We talked. We talked about Blade. Um. Il Grind, uh, who else made music in the neighborhood? Uh, Kurt Cocaine, I was telling y'all about. All right, um, all right. Shit, it's some more people. I don't want to leave nobody out. You know how that shit is. I'm trying to think. Anybody you looking to um, My connect with and do a future with? I'm yeah. From Virginia, from Virginia. Yeah, facts. Anybody. Shout out to A-City, Ghetto Chris, that whole movement. And, okay, um, reach yeah, out, man. man. Y'all shout man. Y'all holler at me. Features for the low. I got y'all. They on sale right now for Make the beginning of the year. Thing. Cop this you know new year saying? deal, baby. Cop this new year deal, man. So, yeah. That's that, man. We we had a good time up here. All right, man. I appreciate yeah, you we coming through, on, man. You know what I'm saying? And For sure. And hey, look, man, I just want to back. remind y'all, man, the first audition, man, to the 757 Rap Music Awards going down at Charm Lounge, man, on the 30th, man. So Facts. pull up, man. Facts. If you think you got what it takes to get a live performance at the awards, it will be a guaranteed winner. Everybody else got to follow the way. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed winner. It will be one guaranteed winner. You know what I'm saying? January 30th. Everybody January else got to follow the wave. And, 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 and you got to share and support the post. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, definitely. All definitely. Right. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? Let's spread the word. You feel me? Spread yeah, the right. word. That's all good. But, but you, you better come with your work at the, if you want to win. You're talking about <laughs> January 30th. We picking one person. Now, I mean, January 30th, there will be one person being picked to perform at Charm Lounge hey, listen. for the 757. Seven rap music awards. So and if you I'm, think you got what it you takes, you know what I mean? That means the whole time we pushing that shit, we gonna be pushing you. Oh, you right. in that spot, the whole oh, right. build up. You so who gonna win the first? Up, right? you know who, who gonna win the first performance slot? You know what I'm saying? Who gonna win the first performance slot? Like Pull up the charm lounge, man. We going out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be there, fresh from Miami. I'm gonna still have my flip flops on. <laughs> okay, you heard he coming. I mean, I'm in you know Miami. I'm in Miami. Jay Z shit. I'm in Miami. I'm in Miami. Next weekend, and we, I'm gonna have the time of my life. Come back, and I'm gonna come back. Give y'all that work. And January, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. Shout out to my mom whose birthday is uh, Miss Cookie. Twenty eight. Shout, shout out to Miss Cookie, man. Facts, you did a man. good job raising good this job. young man Facts. here. Facts. You know? Facts, man. <laughs> it was a blessing being able to build. I appreciate you, man. you for I'm having me, man. loud. You know what I'm saying? You already know what we do. You know what I'm saying? Everything official. You know what I mean? We're glad everybody tuned on tonight. We hope everybody get home safe. We hope you at home safe and all. All that good shit, you know nice, what I'm saying? Nice. But we about to close out 
You know what I'm saying? We live in the V. Yeah, Anybody yeah, else who want to pull it. up and get an interview, get a little music review, make sure you send an inbox to Loud and Me. You inbox. know what I'm saying? Loud it ain't nice. nothing but a connect dot and we can make it work. You know what I'm saying? So over and out, we about to go roll some of this. You know what I'm saying? Russian cream. You know what I'm Russian saying? Cream. Y'all have a good night, man. man. Thanks for tuning in. Yo, when I was in LA, I had a banana backwood. <laughs> you got a banana backwood. Over and out. Point. No fa uh, all facts, bro. No cap. A banana backwood, bro. They was in.